Yo, okay, there, my voice is fucking working now. Jesus Christ. Jesus. Did not have my voice on right away. Also, my chat isn't fucking loading, so that is great. That is completely fantastic. I can't see if anyone's talking, but right now I'm just gonna change the stream game to fucking Fall Guys. Oh, there we go. I see one. I see one message. Yo, what's up, Milk Carton Pro? Maybe I can open up my, uh, restream right after Leafy. You know it, dude. Dude, you know it. I gotta capitalize on that shit. Come on, dude. Dude, there's no way. Dude, Leafy has watched so many of my videos now. I gotta capitalize on that juice, dude. There's just no way, man. There's absolutely no way. I just don't capitalize on that shit. Come on, dude. Smooth moves, yeah, dude. Just completely, dude. Leafy's about to end. I know the auto host is on. Let me just, let me just completely utilize this, use and abuse that shit, dude. The Leafy algorithm. Yo, pro chicken wings, what's up? My internet is too bad to watch the stream. Oh shit. Well, maybe uh, fuck. Then <laughs> you can't. Uh, I was about to say maybe come back another day, but like your internet's not gonna change. My stream. It's not gonna change unless I get partner and you can have different um different uh video settings. Yo, little Channy, what's up? Make a content nuke on him with the same template as Leafy. Hello Larry, how you doing? Goodbye horses. <laughs> oh my god, my, no, dude, my chat's going off my screen, man. What's going on? Dude, my stream is so scuffed. I'm doing good. Nice, nice. Dick cheese. N. Better not make an N tower, bro. Yo, what's up, Vernum? How you doing? I just am uh, trying to get good at Fall Guys. We're continuing. To be I'm bad at Fall Guys. Never mind, dude. So I can't get my tablet. My pin code doesn't work. Oh my god, rip. Your drawing process is on? Oh, fuck, dude. Better get that back. Hey, what's up, turtle? Just got a notification from Boblox stream archive six days ago. I don't even have notifications on for it. That's weird. When does season two start? I think it starts uh, in October. Augie got a shout out in Larry's, vi Larry's video. I mean, Leafy. Yeah, dude. Me and Augie and Nick are being talked about a lot more, which is interesting. At least, like, amongst Keemstar and Leafy. Hey! My boys. I finally made it. Yeah, welcome to the stream, dude. Hope you're doing well. He talked about him on his stream just a bit ago. Oh, nice. Yeah, I was in Leafy stream a bit helping to mod because there's like so much spam in there. Some people just need to be timed out. Some people just need to be banned in there. I put ban hammer on a couple people because they're just like fucking... They just have no brains and they're just spamming like the most useless fucking shit, dude. Clogging up the chat. You're gonna get big for us? Hell yeah, dude. I'll remember all of you. Maybe. <laughs> Still need to put a check in the gift subs. Dude, this fucking platform. Can it go down? Have you experienced growth in subscribers with all... Uh, no. Not in YouTube subs, no. But YouTube is, like, fucking around with my channel right now and not recommending me as much. And it's literally fucking me up, so I don't know. Maybe it would be worse if Leafy wasn't watching me. Dude, I, I watch Leafy streams and I'm just watching my own content and I'm like, this shit's boring as fuck. Dude, my videos are boring as fuck, bro. Uh, dude, after I edit my videos and post it, I'm just so fucking done with them, dude. I'm just so done. I'm so tired of hearing my dumbass retweets. I'm just so fucking done with that shit, bro. 
Yeah, Keem was talking about that. Now, now the uh, question I have about that is, like, I think he's right because there are a lot of YouTubers, including myself, who are getting, like, fucked over by YouTube right now in terms of the algorithm. It's really strange. But there's a couple outliers, one of which being Optimus, another one of which being Critical. So I don't know if they're doing something different to circumvent that. Because I definitely think commentary channels are getting targeted, but I think there's, like, like currently, but... If this fucking bitch! That fucking... <sighs> All right, but there's some way to circumvent it that like critical and uh, Optimus have stumbled upon accidentally. Did you see Pescator break down again? Did he break down again? I don't know about anything recent. The way I've been finding you is mainly by YouTube search results. Yeah, man. Recommended is fucking up. Time to stream snipe Boblox and hug him and fall, guys. Hell yeah. Your channel is unique. Thank you. Yeah, I enjoy doing it. The thing I just don't like about it is it, I don't think it showcases enough of my personality and just me as a person because it's just reading tweets. But I don't, I don't know. If you can't blame that on anyone else, you weren't paying attention. What are you talking about? It's the voice that makes it better. Ah, uh, nice. Dude, my voice in the- uh, Leafy was watching one of my older videos, alright? My, like, one I made in April 2019. And my voice in that was not as crisp. And also, I, like, put in my fucking dumbass opinions. And, like, some of the opinions were just, like... Not stuff I should have said. It's just like, no one cares, bro. Like, shut up. Type stuff. I'm a little more self-aware with that now, but... You know. Making YouTube videos watchable is definitely like a learning process. A slow learning process. You're still a... You were still a tweet reader in training, true. That was before I titled it Twitter Versus. I went back and retitled that, so... What's your favorite video you've made? Huh. There's different, like, videos that stand out to me. But in terms of, like, the making process and, like, my opinion of them, like, I think definitely my most highly edited one was the Etika commentary. I think my favorite videos to make are definitely, like, the original commentaries. When I have something to say. Um... I don't know. I liked my Pokemon response video. I think that was good. I also like... Fuck. I also like the Sonic drama videos. Levy's attention span is shorter than a two-year-old. It's both hilarious and frustrating. The stream notification said you were streaming lol. Yeah, I changed it after I started streaming. 0.1k left and I'll have Augie and Boblax follow me. Hell yeah. Are you going to do one on content ring? I was thinking of it. Now that I have... Now that there's nothing major going on, I might. But there's just so much to get into now. I don't know if I can properly cover it. Is there any other type of content you'd rather be making? I like making gaming content. Like, the little edit I did for my, uh, Twitch promo on my last video at the very end, for those of you who saw that. If you haven't seen it, just go to my latest video and go to the video chapter at the very end called Gamer Moment. Um, I had a lot of fun making that. I love doing that stuff. I haven't done it in a while. Um. Yeah. And for, sometimes I think it'd be nice to just make videos of me talking about random stuff, kind of like. Similar to Optimus or some ordinary gamer. But the thing is, I do feel an obligation to keep doing the Twitter reading videos. Because one, it's good for my channel. Two, it's what people expect. And three, no one else is doing it. If someone else started doing Twitter verses or did it before me, I wouldn't be making Twitter verses. I wouldn't be trying to compete with them. So 
is that no one else wants to do it and it has to be done. It's like a video that people want to see. Who liked that Animal Crossing video on Bobblox Beta? I guess, yeah. I don't know which one you're talking about, but yeah. You should use Bobblox 2 as your Let's Play such as Twitch Clip channel or make Bobblox 3 for that. That's what I'm doing right now. I'm gonna slowly stop re-uploading drama videos on there. You might have noticed that I just have a bunch of Among Us stuff up there and... Yeah, that, that channel's gonna be my gaming and other shit channel. But I can't prioritize it because Twitterverse is the moneymaker, so... And I still enjoy doing Twitter verses, but uh, it's just tiring after a while. You talking about religion or politics while making your making a huge dick on Animal Crossing? Oh uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That was funny. No, that was me listening to someone else talk about that shit. So it wasn't actually me talking in the video. I pre-ordered Mario games. I'm so excited. Same. I did the same thing, dude. I'm probably gonna play it on stream when it comes out. That's probably what I would be playing right now. <gasps> if it was out. Sorry for the yawning. Your voice sometimes helps me get through that quarantine. Uh, thank you. I appreciate that. My voice used to be very obnoxious, so it's nice that, uh... There's been a giant shift from being obnoxious to being soothing or decent, so... Uh... By the way, Edwin's stream was awesome. You being on camera was fun. Yeah. I'm pretty charismatic on camera. I've always wanted to do face cam stuff because of that, but I just never had good lighting, and it's just, like, it's really hard to set up that type of stuff. And it's so much more involved, and it's just, and it's also, and it also doesn't make sense for Twitter verses. It literally doesn't make sense for Twitter verses. I can't. That series isn't about me, it's about the tweets I read, so. But, I'd like to do more face cam stuff uh, in the future, maybe. Miss Boblax on Edwin's stream, too. Uh, your voice is calming compared to other YouTubers I watch? Nice, thank you. Are you sleepy, bruh? A little bit. I need caffeine. IRL streams? Crust? How's this crust, bro? Dude, he got the founder badge. Hell yeah. I was trying to get that in Leafy's chat, but then he got too many subs too fast. I think founder is like the first couple subs, like first five or something. What does crust mean? Dude, it's so hard to explain. Crust is this when something feels crusty, like it feels stale and it feels like icky or not right or something like that. It's kind of like the word cooties, like what the fuck is cooties, you know? But I wouldn't, I would, I wouldn't say crust is the exact same thing as cooties. Crust is like cringe and like rusty and like dusty, you know? I don't know. We have our own language. Dude, it's not like I started using crust with you, Augie, though. Like, I immediately knew what crust was, and I was probably using it way before I knew you. Like, crust just makes sense. I don't know. But it's like... It's hard to explain. It reminds me of a word that me and my sister made when we were younger. To describe a, a certain thing. And the word is called ophobic. Now, the history behind why that is called ophobic is pretty dumb. I mean, we were fucking kids. But still to this day, it's only something that me and her can point out if something's ophobic, and nobody else can. It's kind of like meme -y, right? It was even- it was before the word meme was even universal, because we made this word back, like, 2009, 2008. But it's like when something's, like, meme and, like... A retarded way? Like, how these- like, see how these horses- in like a silly way. Like, see how these horses' eyes are like just... opened wide and they're just like... Durr. That's kind of ophobic in a way, you know? Yeah. The word... <sighs> the origin behind that's so stupid. Dude, kids are fucking dumb, dude. 
but uh oh what the fuck? why can't i move that's fucking bullshit are you kidding me you know that was fucking bullshit bro Yeah, so, I don't, actually, I completely forgot why we called it Opop. It has nothing to do with phobia. It just, it doesn't have anything to do with phobia, which is the weird thing about it. I don't, I don't know how we came up with it again. Yeah, I forgot how we came up with that word specifically. I don't know. I completely forgot. I'd have to ask her. That's like deep into my fucking memory banks, dude. I'd have to like... But yeah. I feel like there's always there always could be new words to describe things, dude. Like the English language, it doesn't cover like 100% of every feeling, dude. Or every vibe or whatever. A good thing of something that's ophobic. Uh, just this is the last time I'm going to bring it up cuz I know it sounds retarded. I'm um, um <laughs> is like you know those um those YouTube thumbnails where it's like someone with like wide eyes and a wide mouth and they're like, <gasps> oh, you know, they do it in the YouTube thumbnail, but it's like over the top and it's like cringe or whatever. Like that's really ophobic, dude. Like, what the fuck is that shit? It's like you're trying to be stupid. Like, that's not realistic. That's the stupidest fucking thing ever. That's like so eccentric and just in a retarded way. You know, in a way you can laugh at. You can point and laugh at. It just doesn't make sense. All right. All right. I'm done talking about it. I'm done talking about it. Uh, okay. What's your Twitter? Give me your Twitter. What if YT and I'll follow or whatever social media you want. Why do you have 400 viewers? Because I'm the fucking best, bro. Because I'm the best fucking streamer, dude. I'm so good at reading tweets, dude. Everyone just needs to stop and watch. Nah, it's because Leafy hosts me. I don't know if he did it or his mods did it, but he auto-hosts me, and I appreciate it. But yeah, I mean... Anybody could ask me, like, why do you have 2,000, 200,000 subscribers? Why do you have this many views? Why do you have this many viewers? I don't fucking know, dude. I just read tweets, and people liked it, and I called on to certain things that people like. Yeah, you know? Uh, 400 to 40? Is, is my viewer count going down? Is everyone like, fuck this guy, I'm out? This ain't Leafy! Dude, when you watch Leafy stream, you're essentially just watching my YouTube videos anyway, so like... I can't be that jarring to switch to from Leafy, you know? <laughs> you're a mod you can auto-host yourself, dude? Oh. Well, someone did it. Someone auto-hosted me before I became a mod. Someone auto-hosted me before I became a mod. I think, um, Jesse, one of Leafy's mods, put me on auto-host, which was very nice of her. I think that's what happened, honestly. I'm sure, um, Leafy would do it himself, though, if he wanted to. But, yeah, I don't... I don't... But Leafy is a Boblax stand? Yeah. The two people who, like always fucking mention me are Leafy and Sky Williams, dude. Whenever I go into Sky Williams' stream and sees me, he, like, freaks out. You know how, like, people would freak out, like, a small streamer would freak out if, like, Mr. Beast came into their stream? That's what Sky Williams is when I come into his stream. And then, obviously, Leafy watches me a lot, but I think it's just to help him, like, catch up with, um catch up with the YouTube drama, because he missed a lot of YouTube drama, and my videos are, like, a very convenient way of doing that, so.
There's also not a lot. There's also not a lot of bullshit in between, dude. Because like, let's say if my channel didn't exist, right? And I'm not trying to stroke my ego here, but like, let's say my channel didn't exist, and Leafy or somebody else wanted to look up like an old drama that happened. They would have to look up like all these fucking commentary videos where people give their, like their opinions and stuff. And I mean, that's fine. You can give your opinion. But like sometimes people just want to hear the story just outright without like a commentary spliced into that, you know? And th I mean, there's channels who do that. There's channels who just like tell the story and it's pretty good and cohesive. I'm not saying I'm the only channel who does that, but... For, like, a lot of these little commentary community dramas, sometimes I'm one of the only people who have a video out like that, and it's just useful. Yeah, I thought there was a platform there, but I don't know. I was getting... When I was the only one over there, I was getting a little... A little scared. Oh, your ear... Oh, is the notification still loud? I turned that shit down, bro. Dude, Streamlabs is just weird, man. I don't know. I swear. I was about to say, I swear if that one's... Fa oh, there's a hacker. There's a hacker. I'm not winning this one. I'm not winning this one. Yeah, the notifications are just loud. I don't know why. I keep turning it down to like 0% or whatever, but it just keeps getting loud again. I don't know what's going on. Let me see if I can... Streamlabs properties... I can't turn down the volume in OBS after it. Control audio via OBS. Okay. Oh, there we go. Yes. Okay. Yes. That makes sense. Okay, someone donate to test it, dude. <laughs> Where's my money, dude? There, is that better? Is that better? Maybe it's too quiet now, right? Also, thank you for the bits. Still loud? Are you kidding me? There's no way. There's literally... Okay. I'm gonna... After this minigame, I'm gonna try something else. If you guys don't want to blast out your ear holes, hold your donos. Hold any donos you will potentially make. Or any subs you'll potentially make until I turn down the audio again. It was louder? Okay. I'll try turning it down. I don't think it will work. I think one of my audio... Oh, yeah, it is. Okay, I, I'm... I'm looking at the audio levels. It's literally fine. I'm looking at the audio levels. It's coming through desktop audio and the separate audio I sh set up. I don't know why it's coming through both. I, it's not like I have it open... On my actual desktop. Itch my ears. Yeah, now it's two sounds going off. I tried to lower it, but then instead I made two sounds and one's just quieter. Because it's just integrated into the desktop audio. And the thing is, I have the desktop audio way up. Because everything just on my computer is naturally more quiet. Just because... You guys have beta bitch ears, true. But, no, nah, I, I understand it's too loud. Because, no, I have my desktop audio amplified for OBS because I have my desktop audio just lower in comparison. But it, then it also amplifies the sound effect, so that means it makes the sound effect super loud. Especially in comparison to everything else. I'm trying to, like... I need to, like, take off the stream sound off the desktop audio so I can only have it controlled through the other thing. Yeah, not loud, but loud compared to your voice. I get it, dude. I know, man. It's time to fucking fix it. Control audio via opiate. This is so dumb. This is so dumb. It won't... Properties. Like, it's just... Oh... Okay, test it again. Do it again. I think I fixed it. 
It's still loud. Why? Dude. Technology's just... Fuck tech... Fuck all technology, dude. I'm done, dude. I'm done, dude. I don't know, man. Like, you can't even hear, bro. Like, I don't know. Dude, this shit's fucking whack. Just mute it. Yeah, mute the sound, maybe. Let me try... Oh, fuck. I can't. I'm on the final round. Who cares? It's just... It's been happening for a while, so I want it fixed. Anyways, while I fix this in, in the meantime, let's not make this the topic of conversation. What do you guys want to talk about? Any juicy drama going down? Oh, fuck. Hopefully, that's not the last platform over there or else. Uh, talk about you. What if YouTube? I gotta go. Plug in my phone. Have a great night. Thank you for sticking around. Content ring? Yeah, I did. Uh, the new content ring that came out, which, by the way, is the Sonic version of content nuke. It's really cringe. It's three hours. It is three hours long. That is an ordeal. That is something I will have to get very high for. That is something I will need to be watching with a friend, not alone. Because I am not watching three hours of Sonic alone or sober. That is just not... Well, not... It's not Sonic. It's like cringe Sonic drama. I'm holding out for after hours. Yeah, but that's three hours. Even if we watch the video with no interruptions, that would be a longer than average after hour stream. <laughs> Which is so insane. Fuck. Oh, dude, I jumped over the whole thing, bro. Dude, what do you think about Keemstar? I think he's dope, dude. I think he's pretty badass. Nah, I think he's fine. He's done some bad shit, but... Dude, I liked it. I like when he was, like, describing Augie on Leafy's stream. He's like, yeah, Augie doesn't even praise me. He calls out Ethan when he does bad shit, and he calls out me when I, I do shit wrong. And then he's like, and then he stops himself, and he's like, well, when he thinks I do something wrong. Technically, I never do anything wrong. I'm just like, I get it. Yo, just realized you're in Canada. Thank you for the $10, Rapzilla. Oh, wait, I'm holding out our hour after hours might be on Twitch for a second while I'm under attack. All right. Yeah, that's what you meant. Sorry. I'm I can't believe I lost that shit, bro. All right, let's. Okay, I supposedly muted the notifications. So if you send a dono or bit, it shouldn't play sound. And if it does, OBS is trash. Everybody who works on OBS should reevaluate themselves and the product. Yep, they should reevaluate. Yep, they need to reevaluate their fucking lives, dude. This is broken. This is just broke. There's no way I can individually control the fucking sound. It's just tied to my other sound, which is amplified, which needs to be amplified. This is fucking... <sighs> dude, Augie's hosting me with one viewer, dude. The one Augie viewer, dude. Hell yeah. You should do things 2016 Destiny would suggest. No, 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 no. The stuff Destiny says right now is over the top. So what he said in 2016 would be very problematic. I'm about to fly out and fix your OBS. Hell yeah, I did. First, I need to dox myself for you to do that now. Although, I have said I'm in Abbotsford, so I guess that's general enough. The one man on campus who's looking at my Twitch is watching now. My host of relief is true. Dude, you host from a closet, bro. Is that Rebzilla? Yeah, dude. Dude, me and Rebzilla had a nice chat last night on Edwin's stream. Or we all did. We About weird shit. Dude, Edwin is horny as fuck. Edwin is always, is like one of the horniest people I know. And I know it's only when he gets, like, drunk, but, like, even when he isn't, and even when he's a little drunk, I feel like it's just an excuse for him to get horny, dude. 
Edwin is literally the most horny YouTuber I know. He hasn't seen his girlfriend since quarantine? Yeah, I guess maybe he deserves to be that horny then, but... He, every time I've been on a stream with Edwin, he's been saying some weird shit, dude. He says shit like... Yeah, I'd fucking... He, dude, he just talked about weird shit, dude. He talks about, like, foot fetishes and just crazy fucking shit. Edwin says he isn't overly horny anymore. Yeah, he said that, but then he just talks about fucking... Yeah, fisting. Yeah, he literally showed Nick a video of fisting. And then he sent it to me, and I was like, ah, I'm not gonna watch it on stream. And I was thinking of, like, maybe, like, test watching it slightly later on. Just to know what the fuck that shit is. Because my curiosity was kind of like, what the fuck? But then he's like, nope. He like takes away the link and he's like, yeah, you have to watch this live. You have to react to this live. And I'm like, what the fuck? Test watching? Yeah, a test watch would be just like... Offline, like just like skimming through a random part of the video. Just to like see like a quick screenshot. Just be like, what the fuck is going on here? But not like fully you know reacting to it or anything like that like a little like light skim dude edwin is going into cock and ball torture <laughs> by the time quarantine ends yeah dude he'll be d dude he'll be doing some crazy shit when quarantine ends probably a lot of other people are too i know uh idubs has talked about his girlfriend being trapped in canada uh for quarantine because canada obviously closed their borders um, so they haven't been able to see each other either, and, like, I mean, she has an OnlyFans as an outlet, but, like, iDubs, he's probably gonna be horny as fuck, bro, like. Well, at least he does have the OnlyFans to look. <laughs> you think iDubs has a subscription to his girlfriend's OnlyFans? That's mean. There's nothing wrong with having an OnlyFans. I just, just making jokes, dude. He should get it for free, true. Items more like eye cucks. I passed out before you got on stream. Well, you're here now. Content cream. Thoughts on the leafy stream? Uh, I do enjoy my own videos. They're pretty good. I think my videos are great. <laughs> But yeah, um, Leafy's stream is good. I think he's finally getting the hang of it, which is nice to see. I think he's at his best when he's just, like, talking with Keem or talking with Billy the Fridge or someone on stream. He needs to bring on more guests and just talk with them. But yeah, I think he's getting the hang of it, trying to make it more casual. Because before he was setting up as a Leafy show, like this episode 1, this episode 2, and now he's just starting to be more casual and... I think he's really getting the hang of streaming, so it's good. But yeah, I do enjoy my own videos. Thanks for asking. <laughs> does Edwin have VODs for a stream? He does, but only on his Patreon. But it's $2 a month, so... I mean, that's pretty worth, man, for those VODs. Unfortunately, not a lot of people will able be able to see the mod VODs, but like... $2 ain't that much. Have you played Fallout New Vegas? Yeah, slightly. But I only got into it, like, very briefly. And then I was like, nah, this is too much time. This is too much of a time commitment. I'm out, I'm out dude. YouTubers and structured shows don't work. Uh, I guess. There's been YouTubers who've done good structured shows. I mean, you do a structured show. Um. And there's a couple other YouTubers who do. But yeah. I don't think striker shows really work that much in general, though. It's more like even like full time streamers just like flick it on. You and Augie should stream 3D World when it comes out. Hell yeah. Online multiplayer. Dude, the fact that that has online multiplayer literally makes it worth buying again. I would have bought it anyways because I have one, I have the money, and two, there's like the new Bowser's Fury thing. Which I'd want to play regardless. Um, 
even if I was more poor, but the online, dude, holy, that's the selling point right there, man. Because the thing about 3D World is, like, the multiplayer is really fun, but I've never, especially, like, it's a Wii U. I'm not going to bring over a Wii U to people's houses. I was an adult at that time. I already, like, I, I think I moved out three years after the game came out, but whatever. Um, Just no one would play that shit with me. I literally never really played that much 3D World multiplayer at all because I had no one to play with, so... Uh... And I heard that's, like, the best part of that game. Because I wasn't really a big fan of 3D World. Because I, I liked it. And I played through the entire game. And I 100%ed it solo. But I wasn't, like, a big fan of it. And I heard pe some people, like, adore that game. But I found out they adore it because of the multiplayer. And then the game is largely designed around multiplayer. So I'm like... I might like it better the second time around when I get to play it uh, with the homies online. And I can actually play it locally online better, too, because I can, I mean, bringing a Switch to someone's house is infinitely easier than lugging over a fucking Wii U, like. Played 3D World with Connor when it first came out and shit all over him. Oh, speaking of shitting all over people in uh, 3D World, that game is, like, it's kind of cooperative, but it also has a competitive aspect because of, like, the crown you can get at the end. And you know how, like, Mario Maker has the ranking system with racing people or whatever? What if there was a ranking system in the new uh, 3D World port where you literally play a random level and you race to get the crown, and if you get the crown, you go up a rank or get points towards a rank or something like that? Or, I mean... They could do something as simple as, like, when you play with your friends, you know, it tracks how many crowns you've got so you guys can count it up, like. Twitch let me la apply for partner again for no reason, so I'm trying. Hell yeah. No, I think uh, after, like, 90 days you can apply again. I think that's how it works. If you still have the same requirements as you did, you know, if you still have the average viewers and the average whatever the fuck. But I don't know, you haven't had the average stream time, because you haven't streamed that much on Twitch, so I, I don't know, maybe since you already hit the requirements once, you don't need to, like, hit them again, you can just reapply or something. I don't know, I've never hit the requirements, because I don't, I've never had an average of just 75 viewers. I mean, I, have, I get a lot of viewers occasionally, like, sometimes I have 100 or 400 or what have you. But it just never... I also have lower viewer streams, and then it never averages out to 70. Right now, it's averaged at, like, uh, 55. And it needs to be averaged at 75 for partner, so... Which is actually a low requirement, all things considered. Because partner is, like, the highest status you can get, kind of, at Twitch. Although, behind the scenes, obviously, someone like Pokimane or what have you will have, like, a higher status than, like, you know, the typical partner streamer. But, like... Site-wise... I guess. I, I don't know, like, just normally partner is the highest thing, so I'm surprised it's as low as, like, 75 average viewers, because you would think it would be like, oh, you need, like, a, uh, a couple hundred average viewers, or, like, a thousand average viewers, something like that. Which is probably, they're probably gonna increase the requirement eventually. I don't see it being 75 average viewers till the end of time, especially if the platform keeps getting bigger and bigger. Definitely the average is gonna be, like, a hundred and keep going up and up and up. If I become a po Twitch pa partner, I will literally be more powerful than Pokey. Hell yeah, dude. But yeah, the main reason why I would want partnership is number one, to like help with viewers. Uh, because once you get partnered, you can have different uh, stream qualities. So I can have like 1080p, 720 uh, 480, like, so if your internet is being shit, you can go down to 480 and you can still watch. That's number one reason. Number two is you finally get more emote slots. No, Pokey is a Twitch partner. I'm just saying she probably gets pre preferential tw treatment. But, like, the actual official status of channels or whatever partnership is the highest you can get. Um... Because, yeah, when, when you're affiliate, no matter how many subs you have, you're capped at, like... Uh, like, four emotes. 
and then like one emote for tier three and one emote for tier two. But when you're um, partnered, you have an unlimited amount of emotes that's based on your sub count. So it's literally like the biggest streamers on the platform have like 50 emotes. It's like insane, dude. Because they just got enough subs to get that much. So yeah, um, I want to add more emotes, but I don't want to remove their existing ones. So partnership will help with that. And then obviously like the quality thing. And maybe I'll, I'll get like better Twitch support or something like that. I don't know. Leafy Live just subscribed. Hey, thanks for the sub, Leafy. Dude. Finally paying me back for watching all those fucking videos, dude. I demand royalties for that shit, dude. Not transformative. Nah, just kidding. Thank you so much, man. It's been fun watching your streams. <laughs> okay. Hopefully, this speaking of Leafy and Fall Guys, dude, I was watching Leafy play Fall Guys, and holy shit, dude. The people that hack and fall guys make me want to start smashing who are these people. I know, right? Who the fuck hacks and ha fall guys, dude? It's just so dumb. And, dude, the worst is when you get to the final round. And it's literally you versus the hacker. That has happened to me before. And it's just like... Holy shit. <clears throat> holy shit, dude. Like, Leafy, I saw your gameplay. So, honestly, I don't know if you've ever seen a final round in this game. But one of the final rounds is like the uh, the hexagon thing, which is like similar to like the Minecraft mini game where like the blocks fall and then there's like another level of blocks under it. Um, and I was playing like 1v1 versus a hacker on that and he was just flying across the map, like deleting all the tiles in front of me. And I'm just like, dude, this is so annoying, man. But at least in Fall Guys, like a match, like a full match is only like 10 minutes of your time. So it's not like that big of a deal. Add you on League? I don't know what your name on League is, dude. But, uh... Yeah, you can add me. I'm Boblox on League. Dude, I have way too many hours in League. I've spent so much goddamn time playing that game. It's insane, dude. And no... The worst part about it is that nobody else in the commentary community plays League of Legends. I think you... The only people I know in the commentary community or in, like, my sphere, I guess, of, like people that I could potentially like be in contact with is you scarce and sky Williams. That's it. Dude. <laughs> uh, but I did play league with scarce and scarce is like such a good Shen dude. Scarce is so good at Shen. Scarce is actually good at that game. Um, you have no idea. My main is banned. Oh, so you're used to getting banned. <laughs> uh, your main is banned. I have like three K games on each season. 3k. Oh, I've only had a couple game, 100 games, I think, in each season. Season 2 to 4. Dude, I loved those seasons. I didn't play in Season 2. I was getting into the game in Season 3, and I was only, like, dabbling in it. I wasn't, like, hardcore, like, addicted until Season 4. But yeah, man. And it's weird, because I always thought I got into the game late. Like, oh, you know. Wait. Okay, I'm not... Wait, I am terminated. What the fuck? Didn't even notice I lost. I remember when I, I remember when he quit. I always see him playing like nine hours a day. Oh yeah, scarce. And then he got back into it, dude. And all the time on my like uh, like a month ago, all the time I went on league, I always see scarce on. And I'm like, does scarce literally just make a YouTube video and then play league all day and then make a YouTube video? Because, like, I know how time-consuming it can be to, like, track all this Twitter drama. So I'm like, dude, there's no way he has time to do all of this, play all that much League, and then do other stuff. There's just no way. It has to be just League drama. That's it. <laughs> he plays League with Tweet Deck all day. <laughs> oh, my God. Now, the see, the, see, the thing with me and my videos is, like, I have to actually screenshot the tweets. So, like, 
if I'm, I can't just casually look at Twitter while I'm playing some other shit. I always have to be on there really actively as it, the only thing I'm doing is like screenshotting tweets, like an hour session of just tweet searching. It's so time consuming, man. Meanwhile, Scarce can just like put up one or two tweets or whatever, and then he's done. Uh, that's funny, dude. Playing League all day in tweet deck. Well, it makes sense why well, he's so good at Shen then. Although, isn't he like silver or some shit? How do you play League all day and you're silver? Scarce is evil. I'm gonna jerk off. Okay. Have a good, uh. He was diamond? Oh shit, dude. Yeah, because I was about to say, if you spend that much time and you're only silver, like, I don't know, dude. It's like some dumb shit. Anyway, see you later, Leafy. Thanks for stopping by. Have fun jerking off. Oh. My sleeping pail is taking over? Okay, good night, dude. Dude, I always forget, like... That it's actually later at night for people because I'm West Coast, so like I'm three hours behind East Coast. And then it's only like 9 p.m. and I wake up late, so I'm just like, dude, it's like the middle of the day for me, dude. I'm just like, I'm totally fucking ready to stream for the next five hours, dude. Six a.m. here. Oh, shit. Where do you want me to follow you, sar uh, sarcastic cynicism? Put your uh, at of whatever platform you want, and I'll follow it. Line maker, dude, line maker's li dude, a pedophile is live right now doing a Q&A. You could ask him, why do you like kids and shit like that? But you're here watching me play Fall Guys. Dude, go in line maker's chat and ask him, why does he like touching kids, dude? That's like... The best Q&A ever. Like, what? What would you even ask a pedophile? <laughs> like, oh, I'm curious. Like, let's do a little Q&A with a pedo. Um, why do you like kids? I don't know. <laughs> Boblax is better. Twitter? Okay, sarcastic sin. Let's do it. Let's get that follow, dude. Let's get that precious Boblax follow. All right. Follow, dude. Dude, one of these days, I'm gonna, like, someone's gonna request to follow me or for a follow on the Twitch, and I'll go to the profile, and they won't be following me. One of these days, I swear, dude, they won't be following me. They're just like, I want the follow. I don't, dude, I don't care who you are. You're just a big YouTuber or a biggish YouTuber. I just want more YouTubers to have as a trophy on my following. I don't care about your tweet. There's like some people who are weird like that. Like there's um, I know there's like really small commentators who get like kind of obsessed with how many bigger YouTubers follow them. They're like, oh, this is my trophy list. I have uh, Keemstar following me. I have Leafy following me. I have Bo Black following me. I have uh, this guy following me. I have, and then they just rattle off their follow list. And I'm just like, all right, this. <laughs> I think Aiden does that, actually. Aiden Projects. I think he does that a lot. He's like, oh, this guy follows me, dude. I'm like, okay. Dude, with some of this shit I tweet, I'm just like, dude, don't follow me, dude. I don't want you to see this fucking crest, man. I don't want you to see these stupid-ass tweets. I'm just being a, a complete spurg on Twitter. Like, you don't need to see this, dude. Like, you can unfollow, bro. What really pisses me off, though, is when people block me on Twitter. I take that so personally, dude. It, cause it, it, cause I feel like it implies more if someone blocks me. It's like, cause I'm the Twitter guy. Like, I'm the guy who reads out the tweets. So, like, if they block me, it's like, I don't want you to read out your tweets. And I'm just like, fuck you. I'm putting you on a special list on my alt account. And your tweets are getting read out no matter what. Dude, pro tip, if you block me... And I know who you are, and you're, like, a big YouTuber who I, I like, cover in my, uh, videos. I have a special eye on you. I'm paying more attention to you now. And I'm, I'm trying to find more excuses to put me in my videos. 
Like H3, dude, when he blocked me. Well, I was already heavily paying attention to H3 before he blocked me because, like, he's pretty much the center point of a lot of the drama with Keem. And a lot of my channel is just Keem Star. But yeah, I'm like, he's on. Actually, what happened after Keem. Or not Keem, H3 blocked me because H3 was following me and then he, he didn't just unfollow, he like blocked me right away. So it went from like top Twitter status to like worst Twitter status with someone. I just started to be like, <laughs> I just started to like shit on him more. Maybe a little bit more, maybe like unfairly, dude. I'm just like, you know, you know what, dude, like any chance I get, even if it's something that's kind of like outrageous and I won't do to anyone else, I'm just going to shit on you for it, dude. Like, H3, your eyebrows look a little weird today. Your hair's a little off today. You said one little thing wrong in your podcast. You know what? Calling it out, dude. I don't give a fuck. It just so dumb. Like, he was, he was like, yo, Bo Blacks, I like you. You're pretty chill. I'm trying to improve. Like, he's saying, like, I'm trying to improve. Like, you know, I know I made mistakes. I'm like, okay, okay. Forgiving. Forgiving person. Start interacting possibly with his tweets. I'm like, hey, me, you know, me, me and H3 can, be, <clears throat> me and H3 can be cool. He's done some shit, but I mean, Keem's done some shit, and I'm friendly with him, and everyone's done shit. So like, you know, let let's see what happens. And he continues to be a fucking asshole and a piece of shit. I'm like, oh, in, in like a fake way, dude. He's like, oh, Bo Blacks, we're cool. You make great videos. Help me with my content, new. You know what? You're chill. You're always one of the cool ones. And then fucking blocks me. I'm like, uh, so are you just a fake piece of shit? Because, like, here's the difference. Like, Team Star, if he hates me, he'll just be like, fuck you, retard. He literally called me a fucking autistic retard one time. H3, he'll just lie, dude. He'll just fucking lie. Just say you fucking hate my guts, dude. Say, and don't, like, say, oh... These guys are bad, and I have a right to hate them because they're bad. Oh, they, they side with Keem because they're bad. No, just say that you fucking hate me because, you know, I'm by reading out Keem's tweets, I put him in a more positive light than you. Just fucking say it, dude. Just say you fucking hate me. Don't fucking be like, oh, well, Paul Blux is a piece of shit, and uh, he did this and that, so, like, these guys are ridiculous. No, just say you fucking hate me, dude, and be done with it, man. Like, the, whatever, man. In LA, I'm your friend, by the way. Yeah, it is an LA thing, man. It's just dumb, dude. Just fucking be real for one. Dude, so many YouTubers in general just aren't real. They're just, like, fucking fake. Yeah, I mean, Keem has his issue, or, um, there's definitely criticisms you can levy against Keem that I'm not necessarily going to disagree with, but Keem is it's always true to himself and blunt, and I don't know, that's, like, something I respect. I really like the blunt, straightforward shit, because, like, I'm not, like, a fan of all these, like, passive-aggressive type people, dude, where it's like, oh, I'm gonna be cordial with you, but, like, secretly, I don't like you, you know? That's, like... Thank you for continuing your sub, your gifted sub. I appreciate that a lot, that you like me enough to continue from something you got as a gift. Anyways, whatever. What else should we talk about? Team better keep his- Nah, he's not going to. When is the age? I don't know. I mean, it's been so long. Like, Basically, I had a backlog of videos I wanted to make before that video came out. And I've already went through it. The Burger King video was the last one. And now it's just been so long that it just seems like random and petty if I make a video. 
And I'm hearing, like, some other people are planning to do some things, so I'm just gonna, like, wait and see what happens. I don't know. Right now, it doesn't feel like the right time to do a video like that. But I definitely eventually want to talk about the bullshit H3 pulled on me. But... Do you think Leafy will get unbanned from YouTube? I think it's a possibility. Do I think it's a high possibility? Fuck no. I think it's a very slim possibility and very specific circumstances will need to happen. And those are circumstances that would make me feel faithful in YouTube again as a company, but it's not going to happen, so. Like literally 1% chance. Which is unfortunate, because I really thought the ban was temporary when it first happened. If you saw me in August stream, I thought it would be temporary. But, I mean, after a couple days, when we got more clarification on, like, how YouTube's responding to all of it and the circumstances around it. Nah, Leafy's gone, bro. Which kind of sucks, but... I mean, Leafy has other platforms that he can grow, so it's not like, uh... I mean, Leafy currently, for fans... Leafy with his channel banned and being active on Twitch is better than him having Twitch and YouTube, but just not uploading at all, which is what he was doing for the past couple of years, so. You know what? Maybe Leafy will just become the biggest Twitch streamer, dude. Why not? This Discord is a hot mess. Everyone's Discord is a hot mess, especially when they have a big audience and they just like dump people in it. Never goes well. All right. Got to quit out of this shit. Tell Leafy to stop using music. He will get banned if he keeps doing that shit. Is that a thing on Twitch? I don't know. Wait, wait, wait. Am I close to level 40? Oh no, I'm close to level 39. Dude, I wanted the monkey outfit, man. Dot. Huh, this one's interesting. How many languages do you speak? One. Actually two if you count retard language. Like special needs language. Like when fucking special needs people go like <laughs> fucking like dumb shit like that. They uh, they always make the sound where it's like <laughs> Like a fucking, like, uh, like a whale. <laughs> and that's not ableist. I'm not gonna get banned for that. That's me. I used to do that. I used to do that when I was a fucking child, dude. And I was around people who did that. I'm very well versed in the culture. I'm one of them. Don't ban me. I'm a literal... I'm, I'm one of them, dude. Literally, that's like banning a black guy for saying the N-word on Twitch. That's just dumb, dude. With an A. That's just dumb, dude. It's their word. That's my language to speak, alright? Not cultural appropriation. Not ableism. It's just what I speak, dude. It's my native tongue, alright? Who is the weird Ricky guy always in your videos? Ricky Berwick? Uh, he is a content creator who likes to reply to a lot of tweets with Twitter videos. I mean, it's pretty self-explanatory. <sighs> Jeff Bezos, do not ban Bo Blacks. He is a good guy. I agree. Have I got banned for this? Twitch is ableist. It's easier for Ricky to make a video and stuff top. Not necessarily. I just think he like he just prefers to make the videos because it's like part of his content. Like the way he grew was from making those small videos to people. It's like his bread and butter. So 
in a way he's like making content when he does that. Definitely makes content for me. Jeff, give verify to Boblax. Uh, well, I just need to be. I just need my viewership to be in an average of seventy-five. So if you guys just stick around for future streams, and we'll get partnered, or at least be able to have an application to get partnered, which it will probably get approved because I am the best. Is that Dutch? No, that can't be Dutch. That's like German. If I did speak a second language, it should be Dutch because uh, my dad speaks Dutch, but and he is from Holland, but he never taught it to me, so rip. Go to sleep, you sound sleepy, bro. I'm not really that sleepy. I just sound like a, a downy. That's it. Hell yeah. The Netherlands. Virtual virtual camping out at a Boblack stream. It's like a rock show. Oh my god. Remember when people are doing like those virtual raves or those virtual concerts and it's just on Instagram live is like so crusty dude. And the ring. Fuck. Ink. I hate yawns. I hate yawns. Kill all yawning. Fuck yawning. If God needs to, like, remove one aspect of people, of humans, if we need a human patch note, a biology patch note, pi biology update, take out yawning, dude. Literally, like, underused. No one cares about it. Pointless. Annoying, contagious, just cancer overall across the board. Can we nerf pooping? So we make it harder to poop, like, or remove it completely. Kill yawns, yes. Rather nerf snorting. I don't snort. I've never snorted. So. Oh, this is AIDS. This is cancer. This is. I'm playing Sonic, dude. I'm done, dude. I'm done. I hit level 39. I'm done, dude. I'm just fucking done, dude. I didn't hit level 39. I'm done, dude. I'm playing Sonic, dude. I'm playing Sonic. It's time. Nerf fart noise? Yeah, true. Right. Right. And I'll change the stream the stream category because everyone freaks out every time the stream category is not the same. Any Netflix shows you've been watching? Uh, I've been watching Shameless. Where? Oh, I didn't press play. All right, show up, please. There we go. Dude, it's Sonic time, dude. And it's randomizer. I'm no bitch, dude. Last night, I always play this when I'm high. Last night, I beat Hero. It wasn't on stream. But now I'm playing through Dark Story, dude. Dude, what happened last night is literally I saw a video of someone uh, having a goose mod in Sonic Adventure 2. And... I needed to play, dude. I needed to get the Tizzamount in. 
Only the autistic people will get it, dude. Sonic is our, like, heroine for us. Sonic and Pokemon. Uh, Flamenco called it something the other day, and I loved it. It was like, um... I completely forgot what it was. It's like autism... Trigger... Not triggers, like... I can... Catalysts? I don't know. Something... I need to, like... Maybe I should go back in a stream VOD and, like, actually see what it was. Because he did say it on stream. I think it was towards the end of the stream. Even the fucking voice clips are random, dude. That just makes no sense. This level is AIDS, dude? Yeah, kind of. I've played this game so much that it doesn't matter. You just gotta drill dive on them, dude. You can't actually punch. You'd think it's just like a punching game where you just try to punch them, but no, they always dodge. You just need to, like, drill into them, dude. Like Chris Chan. Yeah. Alright, let's get a good one. I like it when we're, like, mechs in a speed level, or speed characters in a mech level. Really? We're playing a racing level? Can we get to... Dude... Well, the racing levels are fine because they randomize the, um, the tracks. It's kind of, like, a bit different each time, but... The worst ones are when we get, uh, treasure hunting stages as any character. Because you actually gotta find the emeralds even as a speed character. Or a, um... Or a mech character. And the wor it's the worst when they give us the, um... The... The space treasure hunting levels. Those ones suck dick, dude. I don't know. Do you guys like watching this better or worse than Fall Guys? Because I'm not sure what you guys enjoy watching as background. Uh, but I don't know. Dude, these fucking random ass sounds. Dude, this sounds like AIDS, bro. It's just like the screeching of the tires. And like the super unfitting music and then random sound effects playing, dude. Just like... Dude, this is the perfect game to play when you're high and autistic, dude. This is like... How old were you when you were diagnosed with autism? I was eight years old. So I've been a autism guy for a while. People suspected things from the beginning. It took me till four years old to, until I, could, I spoke my first word, so... Which I'm pretty sure was cookies, someone told me. But I was four years old. <laughs> so dumb. Power to Fall Guys is the same truth. And this will never be the same, bro, dude. This fucking random ass randomizer. High tistic. True. I was diagnosed when I was 20 and started talking at 5 years old. Yeah, fe uh, girls are always diagnosed, like, way, way later in life. Because it's harder for, like, psychologists to detect it because they don't know the... There's not as much studies done on female symptoms versus male. But I think it's getting better. But yeah, most girls who have autism always say they, like, get diagnosed, like, way later. Like, my younger sister has autism, and she got diagnosed at... 16? Yeah, she got diagnosed at 16, so... Which was last year, so... Okay, I suck dick, dude. These are just all normal levels. Can we get, like, some wacky shit, bro? Do you have all the Sonic games on Steam? Yeah, of course, dude. Do I look like a fucking noob? It took them years to figure out I was autistic because they took me to so many professionals and still didn't figure it out until my brother was diagnosed at 7. Yeah, it is genetic. I think, like, part of the reason why they found out my s younger sister had autism is because of me. But I kind of are... I mean, I never, like, actually suspected it, because I, I don't, like, assume things with people, especially when it comes to mental illness. But, like, it made sense to me, like, with the way she is, but... It's just hard to tell the difference between autism and stupidity. I wouldn't say those two things are comparable, but all right. It's more like not being able to tell the difference between being shy and being autistic. 
or, or something like that. I'm not sure. It depends person to person, because, I mean, autism technically manifests differently in everybody. I mean, there's specific differences with male and female, but even between, like, that, for each individual, it's different. So, like... I, I'm sure, like, if I thought about it for a long time, I could probably, like, classify autism into, like, three or four or two different, like, categories of, like, how it manifests in specific people. And then there'd be variations based on, ge off gender, off those variations. Uh, I could probably, because, like, to me, in my mind, it's so clear, but it's hard to vocalize it. Especially when there's no, like, official terms for everything, it's just the spectrum and high functioning low functioning which is such broad terms uh but i'm sure if i were to let i could like figure out some sort of system because i was talking with like a, a psychologist about this uh and this wasn't like therapy or whatever it's just my friend who happens to be a psychologist um because i study psychology so uh i was talking to him about this and this was a term that wasn't invented yet which was crazy to me, because it just seemed so natural to me. And he, to him, it made sen a, a lot of sense to him, too, because he's worked with autistic people. It's like, there's, like, a threshold, like, a certain, like, line, like, a level. Like, if you think about it as a video game, like, every learning experience is, like, XP. And once you hit a certain threshold of XP, you level up, and then you, like, gain. Or, like, you have an awakening of, like, certain abilities or whatever. So it's kind of like that to where it's, like... You can tell, you can kind of tell by talking to different autistic people, like, how far along they are in terms of, like, their social development and their understanding of social situations. And I feel like there's a threshold to each one, like, oh, I can tell you're, like, at this stage, and I can tell you're at this stage and at this stage. But it's kind of like, when you get... To that stage it, it it is gradual like it's a, it's a combination of all these like things to where you learn like how to socialize and social skills and stuff okay now we have an interesting level but it and it does happen gradually but like there is like a specific like revelation you have every once in a while i've had it like once or twice where, like, something clicks, and then you look at all your behavior you've done, like, prior to that point where it clicks, and you're like, ah, oh, that's cringe, dude. Of course that was socially awkward. How could I not know? I understand the mindset I was in at the time, but holy fucking shit, dude. That's embarrassing, man. And, like... You know? Uh... But, yeah, I don't know if anyone relates to that who is autistic, but, uh... Yeah. I don't know what people say about Sonic 06 to me. It was my first Sonic game. I had a lot of fun with it. It's broken, but it's a good broken game. Yeah, it has really good ideas, but it's broken. It's one of those games where if it was finished, it would be a masterpiece, bro. Alright. Where? This is a wacky character, dude. Kareem is so weird, because he's just, she's all, just like so fast. I completely get what you're saying? Okay, great. Because that was- I explained it better to my friend. Uh, we were kind of like in a deep conversation on topic here. I'm just kind of like trying to play some video games, you know? So. Uh, uh, where the fuck? Oh, I did it, dude. Dude, she's so fast, bro. Fuck. Uh. I remember Sonic Heroes, hell yeah. Do you have an autistic radar? Kind of. I don't suspect people are autistic. Actually, sometimes I do. It's just, it's more like I wait for them to say it, and then when they say it, I'm like, oh. So I could guess, but then, like, a lot of traits that are autistic, I mistake for... Because the thing is, autism is like... You have to hit a certain level of criteria to, like be autistic in terms of like mental traits but some people have a couple of those mental traits without being autistic like for example one of them is auditory processing disorder where it's like oh there's too many sounds i can't process it all sometimes people just have that and nothing else about autism they don't have like the social issues they don't have any other thing it's just that so like i'm like oh that's an autistic trait but i don't know so i see an autistic trait in them so i have an autistic radar for that but then i'm like oh well 
it could just be that one trait. And a lot of people have autistic traits. I'd say majority of people on in life have at least one or two autistic traits. Does it mean they're autistic? No, but... Like, for example, anxiety and depression are both two autistic traits. Like, if you're autistic, you have a high chance of having one of those two things. But there's a ton of depressed and anxious people who aren't autistic at all. So literally... And then there's some people who aren't autistic but are sometimes a little socially inept in some ways, maybe because of the way they were raised or what have you. Because a lot of, like, developing social skills is also based on, like, your environment and... Uh, how you were raised as a kid or whatever. So I do have an autistic radar, but it's just not accurate all the time, so I can't, like, act on it. But there's definitely people that I can be like, oh, I'm pretty confident they're autistic, and there's, like, a 50% chance I'd be right, right? You know? I used to be obsessed with Sonic. Yeah. Same. The things I were obsessed with... Oh, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, what? What's going on, bro? All right, grab onto one of these. Oh, what the fuck? I'm so fast, dude. Grab onto one of these. Fuck. Thank you for that fact, Omo Chat. Yeah, you can't grind on rails as this guy, so... I just gotta glide in. I could probably, like, stay, like, way high up in the air. I don't know what it... I can't really see the level design. Oh, I have a little bit of a guide here. <laughs> it's so dumb. Oh fuck. Oh, like there's something there. Oh, there we go. Nice. Wait, I'm flying like up. What the fuck? This game's crazy, dude. The randomizer's crazy. What? Oh. I don't, I don't understand what's going on, but I'm having a good time. This is a mod for Sonic Adventure 2 that, like, mixes and matches characters with levels. So normally, there's, like, three different character types, and then there's three different level types. And right now, I'm playing, like, a speed level, which is designed for, like, Sonic or whatever, with a mech character. So, it's just acting wonky, because the game isn't designed for it. That's the fun of this mod, right? And then this is also a character mod as well to like speed up this guy. So normally the, the, the mech isn't even this fast. But it's like speedy fast with this character mod. Shit, we popping off. This game is getting scary. The fuck? Dude, the chow music though. Can't be that scary. It has like little kindergarten music going on right now. Ugh. Luckily, I mean, I played this game, so I know, like, the level design and all that. Is Sonic Adventure 2 good? I love Sonic Adventure Original. Yeah, I like it. I like Sonic Adventure 2 better than Sonic Adventure Original. But don't use this gameplay as, like, a basis for what it's like fully. Because, obviously, I'm playing a mod that mixes and matches everything. So, obviously, everything's going to be glitchy and wacky. But, like... Oh, yeah, and see, and now I'm playing a mech stage with a speed character. So, this is the character I was meant to play on the previous stage. This is the type of character I was meant to play. But now I'm playing him in a mech stage, which is the stage that was designed for the character I was just playing. So. Where it's like more open, there's more enemies, and I mean, for the speed character, I can just like walk through it casually. But I'm doing good, thank you, Greaves. SA2 is still one of the best ones, true. Have a good night, Luna Lizzie. Hell yeah, chill music. I'm excited to play uh, the 3D Mario's on stream with the 3D Mario collection and also Pikmin 3 Deluxe. It's gonna be fun. Oh. And I can jump higher so I can skip certain things. The music's random too, so it's just like playing like menu music. It's kind of funny. The music in this game for actual stages are really good, though. And this music isn't bad either, but, I mean, it's not designed for a stage, but...
I hate the stage where you had to play as Eggman or Tails in Vague Eggman Space. Yeah, this level actually scared me as a kid because, uh, lol. Because, um, it's super dark. And I mean, I think I'm playing on the. I'm playing this on PC with the updated version of the game, so I think they made the stage brighter. But on the original GameCube, which is when this game, uh, this game was originally on, uh, the level was like super dark, so I thought it was like so scary. And there's like, there's like, the the whole gimmick of the stage is that lights it gets dark and then it lights up, which is about to light up. And like, there's holes on the path, so you gotta like memorize or like see where it is. It's just, it was just spooky as fuck, bro. Here we go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. <laughs> it's so dumb. Holy shit, the amount of rings here. Oh my god, holy fuck. Almost got a thousand. So yeah, normally that's just like a platform that goes up, but since it doesn't work for speed characters, they just made it so it's like a ring path. And that was nutty, bro. I was starting to play Mario Galaxy for the first time ever on the Wii, except the ray surfing levels, fuck those. Oh yeah, you just have to learn how to do it, man. They can be annoying though. Score is based on Yo, what's up, bro, uh, Ronald? Especially playing an old ass TV made it darker. Yeah, for sure. Okay, this is just a normal thing. Wait, I thought it was Mel Sonic. You had like a little like shield instead of a spin dash, but maybe there's like another character mod where it's like Sonic with Metal Sonic skin over it. It's not exactly the Metal Sonic from the battle mode. I spent hours in the Chow Garden and playing Chow Mini games. Oh, same, dude. I can't be bothered to do that shit now, but same, man. I had such emotional attachment to some chow. I accidentally deleted my sister's chow, my older sister, and she hated me for years for it, dude. She worked so hard on that chow, and I just fucked it up. It's so funny. I think I got mad at her and deleted it. It was like revenge or something, I don't remember. Or it was an accident. I feel like it was more of an accident. There's no way, dude. I think it was an accident. Too nice to sabotage someone like that. Oh yeah, there's the shield. Fuck! Uh. Oh, don't fall off. Well, Sonic was awesome. I wish there was more of him. True. Fuck you, Sonic. Pretty sure this is the menu music for the two-player battle. I remember hearing it on loop a lot while I wait for people like get on the fucking game. I'm coming. Yes, yes, yes. You ever get like menu music stuck in your head because you're just waiting for people to fucking get ready to play? Like they're just so fucking slow. It's like, dude, I'm trying to game right now. Fuck off. Oh, dude, we beat the we beat the dark side. You just can never tell because all the levels are random. Except for the final boss, I think it's always the... Dude, only 13 minutes. Nice music. Fucking goofy ass sound effects. Alright. Well, we gotta watch this for a bit, because there's no way of skipping it, so, uh... Uh... <laughs> we'll just be dealing with this for a bit. It's literally monkey noises. What's going on? What? Song and Sonic has this shit. This has to be something they added in themselves. Brown! What the fuck is this shit? Literally monkey noises. 
<laughs> They're chimping. Well, everyone said they want chimp noises. Now you're about to get five minutes of it, so congrats. That should fill my quota for the next year. Favorite movie? That's a hard one. I don't know. Wally. <laughs> I, I honestly don't know my favorite movie. Lion King? Hell yeah, dude. Dude, these fucking sounds. Favorite TV show, though, is probably The 100 right now. I love that show. I don't know why. I also like Star Trek a lot. Dude, do Star Trek movies count? Then I can, dude, I can just make my favorite movie, uh, Star Trek 4. Which is the one where they see the whale. I don't know if that's four or five, though. I think it's four. Or, no, um... First Contact, which was the first Star Trek movie for Next Generation, was really good. All right. Shut the fuck up. Nobody cares. Move on to the next thing. Dude, I wonder if, um... I wonder if the two-player battles are randomized. I don't know. Dude, they were swearing. What the fuck? Okay, last story. Dude, let's go in. Is this randomized, too? The cutscenes don't seem randomized. Oh, yeah, they are. Never mind. If you don't stop that this is gonna be like the quickest thing ever since I think the last story only has like a couple levels, so it's like. It's just gonna be like two levels and I'm done. Or like a couple boss fights and I'm done. And it'll just be like so anticlimactic. Looks like you can change settings. Series. Yeah, dude, the Star Trek series is so great. Oh, we do have the final level. Or one of the final bosses. There's a way to like homing attack just to get up him early or something like and spam it. I've seen someone do that. They were doing it with the goose mod dude. Maybe it's only with the goose mod character because he's like faster or something. What the fuck is it? Dude, this is a bio lizard. Have you never played Sonic? Dude, you're not a true Sonic man. What the fuck? How do you not know? Dude? Oh, don't eat me. I was like this thing, dude. This thing's so nostalgic. And it's so silly, too. Like the little mouth. Maybe it's why I like turtles and shit. Because of like how goofy his little head is. Turtles are kind of the same way. Never played Sonic Adventure 2, you should. It's on Steam. Oh, fuck. What the fuck? Wow. That's a bull, bro. You gotta get the rings. Fuck. Yep, I'm dead. Dumb. That's nasty. Yeah, true. Dude, it looks like a... The little Dory thing from Mario 64. I 
How much is SA2? Oh, I'm not sure. I think it might be like 20 bucks or less. I don't think it's that expensive. You can look it up on Steam. You need to put more Sonic games on Steam, like Sonic Unleashed and shit like that. Sonic Colors. This boss is pretty long. Bio is just pure AIDS, true. This always is the thing that took me the longest as a kid. But I don't have to do it now, so. Kinda hard to figure out though if you don't know what to do, to be honest. It's like, oh, how do you attack him? Because it's like, you don't know you're not supposed to attack right now. You just gotta wait it out. It took me forever to figure out how to let that you could somersault under those things. Because they, like, follow you. You can't, like, dodge them horizontally like I just tried to do. And then the boss just changes up a little later. $10 on Steam, better off waiting for a sale. $10, is that a lot to you? I, I guess maybe $10 is a lot. Uh, okay, who are these like retards to keep? The, okay, the thing about that video, it's so stupid, all right? Let me just say it right now. The strike was reversed. Literally, I contacted YouTube support the same day to reverse it and he deleted it to make it still look like it's down. The guy deleted it himself. The strike is reversed. I was in my copyright tab and I was trying to take down a re uploads of the Black Lives Matter song, which was a bad judgment call again. It wasn't false for some of them, but it was a bad judgment call, so I undid those two. But in the crossfire, I had a transformative one come up and I accidentally striked it. And I immediately, as soon as I figured that out, which was only like 10 minutes after, I contacted you to support. And within a couple days, it went back up, and then he deleted it to make it look like it's still down. So I'm not a fucking false flagger. I'm not a fucking deep platformer. Shut the fuck up. You're retarded. And, like, it's annoying because I know he, like, deleted it to make me look bad. It's like, he doesn't even care about the truth. He just cares about making me look bad, you know? And we want to compare it to, like, the, co the Pokemon copyright strike or whatever. It's like... I talked with Pokimane, she apologized, I accept the apology, I was trying to give her benefit of the doubt in so many ways. This is not the same situation in the slightest, alright? So... And I was high. Yeah, I was fucking high, okay? But I didn't mention it because, like, I don't know, that doesn't take away from the responsibility that I did it. I was high- Okay, I was high and that's why I made the decision to remove the Black Lives Matter videos, which I had the full right to do but I didn't want to do it or I mean not that I didn't want to do it but like um I realized it was a bad idea after the fact just like in general like it just doesn't make any sense like it's just dumb and that's like the amount of that's the judgment that I lacked when I was high the other video it got caught in the crossfire because it almost looked like a re-upload but then there was like some transformations and like uh in it where it was like it wasn't the full song and then there's like some screenshots of tweets I made afterward and I it was just in my list of things to strike, and I didn't, like, double-check, because obviously I was high, so I had, like, lapse in judgment for some things, and I accidentally striked it. And immediately, as soon as I found out, literally ten minutes within it, I sent YouTube to take off the strikes. It's just, like, it's l literally just chalks up to a mix split. So you guys can all shut the fuck up, dude. And I'm never speaking about this again, and you're all banned if you mention it. Mods fucking ban that guy, dude. I, I don't have any mods in chat, bro, so I gotta do it myself after this. But... Just fucking cringe, bro. I'm pretty sure most people saying this know this shit, too, so I don't know why people are spamming it. Like, let's ignore Boblox's entire history of everything he's done and everything he's said. And let's just find this one little thing that happened. 
and make it a big deal even though he rectified it within 10 minutes of making the mistake. And there's proof that literally like I emailed them the same day it went down within the same hour. And I posted it on Twitter already. So it's just cringe. It's just stupid. Like people who call me out on that shit, they're not trying to keep me- they're not trying to hold me accountable. They're just trying to be like, oh, I want to cancel Boblax for like whatever fucking reason. Like, I don't know. Just like, get a life or something. Like, am I wrong? Like, <laughs> I don't know, dude. Don't feel- fan, People in the chat who like me don't feel obliged to, like, agree with what I'm saying just because it's me saying it, but, like, am I wrong? Like... Sorry guys, I'm just checking some stuff. Alright. Yeah, yeah, I paused the game. I was looking at something. Whatever. Sorry guys, I got a little... I'm not like that upset, it's just like, kind of... Annoying, because it was... It's- that isn't the first time it was brought up. People just keep saying it. It's just dumb. It's just dumb. I'm not mad, it's just dumb. It's like stupid. Yeah, it was just dumb to re-upload in the first place, but I don't know. The re-uploads can stay up. Everything can stay up. Everything is staying up. The guy's disingenuous and he deleted it and he's pretending it's struck down, but literally it's deleted and I have screenshots to prove that he deleted it so he can fuck himself. And he never even reached out to me to ask what was going on. He was just like, immediately, like within 10 minutes, like looking at it like a hawk. Oh, Bow Black, where's the poke to me now? Mm, shut the fuck up. completely dishonest person. And now, I will never speak about it again. Edwin recently also got people who tried to like nitpick everything he ever did. It's not because the people actually cared, because they just didn't like him and wanted to cancel him. Yeah. People are like that, man. It's just like how people are. I think I might have been like that with other people in the past. It's like, you know, fair enough, whatever. It is what it is, dude. The the thing is, it's like there's uh, there's always um. People have, like, a natural desire, us humans have a natural desire for people to like us, but, like, everybody, I, I firmly believe that everyone just needs to get over the fact that, like, there's just some people who are not gonna like you no matter what you do. You could be literally Jesus Christ, Mother Teresa, and there's gonna be some, there's gonna be haters, bro, like, literally. It's just how it is, so you just gotta, like, ignore it. Or, like... Well, if there's, like, legit criticism, don't ignore it, but, like, you gotta realize who's saying something to- because they want you to improve. Or who's saying something because they genuinely think it's wrong and it has nothing to do with, like, you as a person, it just has to do with the action. Versus the people who just want to, like, find something to nitpick, you know? And they just- even if you do everything correct, they're just gonna be like, okay, where's the incorrect thing, though? I like the incorrect things you do so I can complain about it, you know? So, yeah, those, those are like the three camps of people. You just can't hate Boblox, I guess, I don't know. 
I mean, maybe I'm annoying. If someone said I was, like, annoying or obnoxious or, like, they didn't like my sense of humor or whatever, like, fine. Because, I mean, I could see people not liking that. And I wouldn't have an issue with that. I don't even necessarily have an issue with that, what any of these people are saying either. It's just, like, it's just annoying, dude. Like, like you can fucking say it, but annoying no one will like care or not that no one will care but like you don't really seem like a likable person i don't know but hey maybe they are this boss is a pain in the ass with amy's physics i know right wait i think i'm about to beat it though Oh my god, bro. This is cringe. Dude, why can't I be playing an easy ass level, dude? Isn't the majority of the commentary com Isn't that a majority of the commentary community? No, no. I don't think someone like Nicholas Diorio calls out people just because, like, trot. I don't think, like, someone like Nicholas Diorio is going around finding bad shit that people do to talk about it. He's not like, oh, I can't wait for this person to do this bad shit so I can talk about it because I don't like this person. It's like, I don't like this person because they did that bad shit, you know? There's a difference. Like, you gotta, like, think about a per- Yeah, there's a difference, for sure. Because the people, I the people I'm talking about is, like, someone who just- wants to find something negative and then if you do something positive it's just like ignore it I'm, I'm trying to find the negative shit they like seek it out it's weird nick or somebody else maybe nick isn't the best example but like commentators generally just see something and then they call it out because that thing is wrong not oh i'm gonna like search every little crevice to find something and then even if, like, it's understandable and the explanation makes sense, I'm still gonna just spam it. Because, ha, ah, they made a mistake or whatever. Like, for example, you know, Pokimane fucked up. But Nick literally tweeted out, well, Pokimane apologized, so we can't... Like, he, he literally made a tweet along the lines of... And you know Nick's an asshole. You know Nick's a fucking asshole. He's not afraid to, like, go in. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. But... When Pokemon's apology came out, he tweeted out, he's like, we can't just relentlessly bash people forever. I mean, they did whatever they could. They're doing the best they can right now. They're not, like, currently offending. So let's just, like, back off, right? And I was... If we're gonna compare it to someone I just like currently, like, H3, right? Um... I w up until he blocked me, I was... W even though e e Ethan made a bunch of these mistakes and was seemingly still making mistakes, I was willing to see if he would change. But then I realized he wasn't, and he's a continuing offender. Someone like Pokimane has fixed her actions until she offends again. There should be no reason to go after her for how she is currently. Right? There's a difference between current offenders and past offenders who have done everything they can to rectify the situation. Like, for example, yeah, Keemstar called Tony a pedo, and that was a big, big mistake, but he's done everything he could to rectify that situation, so what the fuck do you want from him now, in that regard, right? And there's a lot of things, like, there's probably things Keemstar's doing that's, like, currently offending or whatever, uh, to some people. But, like, so I wouldn't say someone who's, like, criticizing Keem is just someone that's just shitting on someone for the sake of shitting on someone. Because I'm sure they'd, like, compliment Keem on something if he did something good. But, like, the type of people I'm talking about is, like, if I did something legitimately good, they wouldn't even, like, acknowledge it, right? Like, for example, with H3, bring back that example again, me, Nick, Augie, we don't like H3. But when H3 was, like, helping out the commentary community and doing good shit uh, with, like, the fixing, like, glitches with the commentary channels and stuff and reaching out to YouTube, uh, we were praising him for that. You know? And someone like the person I mentioned wouldn't do that. They just wouldn't do that. 
so there's there is a difference so it isn't just the commentary community you know hopefully that makes sense Did he say laughing my fucking ass off yet? No. That's a Twitter only thing. That's a Twitter versus exclusive. Bro. I like how you uh, slip in your original ass. Thank you. Yeah, Ridge is really flexible with my ads. I never said anybody specifically, I meant small commentators. No, there are a lot of commentators that are like that, you're right. There's a lot of commentators who are like that, so you're not wrong. But I'm just saying like, if, if you were saying like all of YouTube commentary, then I would disagree. And I was giving examples on why, using my, me and my friends as an example. Edwin stream, Nick is an early an asshole, yeah. How Nick is on Edwin's streams is pretty much how he is behind the scenes. He plays up his assholiness. Or his assholiness online. It's kind of insane, but yeah. This but goose. I know, right? I wish I was playing as a goose. So this is what the game gave me. Amy and the bio lizard. Looking great. King joke was very fun. Thank you. I was worried about having a three minute ad because usually my ad reads are like really short and it's not even required to be that long. Like, no sponsorship is asking for like three minutes of runtime, but I just thought it was the thing I recorded was funny and I didn't want to like cut it down. Well, I did cut it down obviously. The original recording was like nine minutes, but I didn't want to like take out any parts that I like. For the sake of run turning down the runtime, so hopefully you guys didn't mind. I mean, I put it as a chapter, so you guys can skip if you want. But yeah, the Leafy was re accidentally showing some one of my Ridge Wallet ads, one of the first integrations I did uh, on his stream, and he just skipped that shit, dude. I was like, what the fuck? Dude, Leafy is no fuck. Fuck, man! Are you kidding me? Give me that ring. Why? I hate this. I'm, re I'm, fuck, fuck. I'm quitting the game and hope. Hopefully, I'm getting a different mission, dude. I'm done, dude. I'm done with that fucking bullshit, bro. I swear, if it gives me bio lizard again, I'm gonna cry, dude. Don't give me the fucking bio lizard. Yes! Let's go! Fuck the bio lizard, bro! Oop. Dude, this music is how I feel right now, dude. The Green Hill. The triumphant Green Hill music. Not fighting the bio lizard. Do 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 do. <laughs> Fuck, finally I get to have fun again, bro. Oh. Hell yeah. How about just play some Among Us, maybe? I don't think there's any people on that want to play the... Wait, I'm gonna check Discord DMs. I wanna see if there's anyone- Cause Nick sometimes just says like, Among Us, bro. 
and I want to see if he's just like in DMs anywhere, like saying, like crawling, waiting for an Among Us thing to happen. I don't think he is. All right. Leafy an hour ago DM'd me spoof rat, and I have no idea what he means. Augie doesn't stream anymore, dead channel, true. Is Augie even streaming? Wasn't he supposed to stream on Twitch? I think he bitched out. Augie bitches out of streams a lot of the time. Kind of a pussy. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck. Maybe that's... Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. That's pro oh, fuck. That probably is what it is. Nobody add him. Nobody add him. Nobody add him. I don't want him to get flooded with friend requests. Nobody add him. That's what it was. Probably what it was. I don't know, maybe it wasn't that. Nah, it's just cringe- No, it's just, it's not a big deal. It's just cringe, like, saying YouTubers, like, private game names because, like, the names are private for a reason. They don't want to be like spanned with friend requests or like recognized in game or anything like that. So, I mean, it isn't the biggest deal in the world, but like some people just don't want to deal with that shit, you know? Oops. Yeah. Uh, bye, Boblax. I should be sleeping like a normal person. Yeah, dude. Good night, man. Thanks for sticking around. Do -do -do -do. How many people are watching right now? Is it still a lot? I don't know. I'd probably guess like a hundred, maybe less. Could go down to 50, because usually that that's like my normal number. 248? Damn, dude. I guess I'm not fucking boring as shit. Fuck, dude. Who knew a guy who just read tweets could, you know, keep people's attention? Fuck, dude. <laughs> I don't know. Dude, I feel like I'm getting my Let's Player skills back with the streaming shit, man. Cause like, I used to be a let's player, so. Have you tried slow this fucking music. Dude, I've never heard the sound effect for that before because the music is always so loud. Cause the actual music on this is like, blaring loud, like, hanging on the edge of tomorrow, like, fucking butt rock, so now that's just a normal song, you can actually hear the little, like, sound effects, the little, like, squishy sound effects, so weird. Do you have Sonic Mania? Yeah, I do, of course. I, did you ever play Sonic Mega Collection? Yeah, I did. That's how I played the classic games for the first time. Have you played Sonic Utopia? Yes. Have. have you played Sonic? If you if you get that far in the sentence, the answer is yes. You know? Probably. There's some Sonic games I haven't played. No, I have not played Robo Blast 2, but I know about it. You found one I didn't play, dude. I was able to remember Maria's wish. Did you ever make a Sonic OC? No, I didn't. Which is actually surprising. 
You'd think I would. I probably should have. It's a miracle that I didn't. Dude, I'm, I'm craving Chinese food right now, dude. Enter your ID and pa What the fuck? They're trying to dox me. Sonic 06? Oh, hell yeah, dude. Hell yeah. I played that. I could play it after this. Did I just beat the final boss? Oh shit, dude, it's mating season. Let's go. Panda Express. I don't have Panda Express over here. What? I'm not good enough for you? Whoa! What mating and I'm not good enough That's for you, dude? What, what, what fucking nuts? What's going on? This is like some sort of Wait, is this like a fanfic? Sonic fanfic? Coming? The cannon? Yeah, powerful cannon? Alright. Fire. fire! Oh, shit. What are you firing over there? Well, Shadow's dead, so. Do, 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 Dude, they're all celebrating that's mating season, dude. Dude, everyone when COVID ends and they can finally start fucking again. Following a faint signal I was getting from the Master Emerald, I found myself in this world candy. Maybe I should have played these cutscenes instead of skipping them. Like I did, like I have been this whole time. Cause these are, I'm, I'm just not skipping this one because this one isn't skippable, but. But I could have been playing these the whole time. You should stream Majora's Mask. Yeah, Majora's Mask is a great game. Oh, fuck. I clicked out and pauses it. I gotta watch this. I gotta see the whole thing. When are you backstabbing Augie? Maybe at a million. Three minutes to bring it. Incidents that shock the entire world. The story takes our hero Sonic from the Earth and into outer space. Sonic Adventure Two. Hero sides. That blue hedgehog again of all places. Alright. Stream Mario Collection is not out yet, but I will when it comes out. How did you even meet Augie? He made a video on my Pokemon situation in December 2018. And I watched it. And I kept watching Augie. And then I hopped on a stream. And then we talked. Your menu screen. My first conversations with Augie were awk as fuck, dude. There's probably a stream out there of our first conversation. I tracked the signal from the Chaos Emerald and located Eggman. It's like probably buried in channels as a VOD. I think it was a Twitch stream, so it might be like a Twitch VOD. I don't know, let's delete after a while, so maybe it's gone forever. I think it was on Twitch when we first talked on stream. It was like two viewers. I know the first time I interacted with Augie was when he was streaming Civilization on Twitch. And... Ben was on with him, and Ben was being AIDS, and then I was in chat like, I like this, it's awesome, and then Augie's like, dude, dude, stop being AIDS, dude, Poblox is in the chat, dude, 
Can you stop being AIDS for one second? Dude, YouTubers in the chat, bro. <laughs> That's what he was like to Ben. He was like so worried about my impression. And my impression of him would be crusty because of that. You want to play Smash or Pass? Uh, sure. Just say names. Although, I don't know. You'll probably say names of like female celebrities and I won't know what they look like. Because I only recognize like them as actors. But I don't know their names. So I don't know. Maybe it won't work. Bella Thorne? Yeah, see, I don't even know, dude. I know she's been in drama, but I'd have to look that up. I don't know, like, what these people look like offhand. I mean, probably Smash, though. I don't know. She has money, so... Yeah, see, I don't know what Evalon is. Augie fanboying? Yeah. Katarino? Smash, dude. Fucking completely smash. Leafy... Nazi girl? Uh... I'd probably smash that too. I'm not sure. I haven't seen her a picture of her in a while, but... Pokemon? Alright. Sure. Belle Delphine? Probably. I'd smash a lot of people, honestly. The thing is, like, all the girls that are big online... I'm sorry. It's just how it happens. Maybe it's not because of this, but all the big online female celebrities are hot. It's just how it is. Now, there's girls who are not hot. But all the female celebrities out there, majority of them are hot. Now, I guess Trisha Paytas, I wouldn't, you know. That's one that I wouldn't, but. Like, let's just be honest here. Okay, well, I finished all this shit, so does that mean all the stages are unlocked? Or they're still missing stages, so like... Wait, if I just go to a stage, will it actually be that stage, or will it be something else? Oh, it will be that stage for just a random character, alright. Since we've stopped the Chaos Emeralds, why is this space called- Alright, so do I just pick a random thing and then hope I get it? The health meter is now in- Yeah, I said yeah. She one head, sure. Brittany Venti, sure. I'd smash a lot of people. I think smash or pass with me is just—it's just gonna be smash. It's not gonna be your pass, dude. It's just gonna be smash everything, man. Wait, it did pick City Escape though, so does that mean it's not gonna be random anymore? Dude, there's no music. This is lame, bro. What are you even trying to do right now? I'm trying to like unlock more levels by like randomizing them in. Alinity? Uh. It wouldn't be my first choice, but sure. Hope likes to be getting eager tits pussy ass. Yeah. If you were gay, would you smash Augie? No. I don't even know what I'd be into if I were gay. Probably older men. I mean, usually people who are attracted to men are into older men. But no, if we start getting into guys that, like, I would potentially smash if I were gay, which I'm not, so it'd be, like, a hard, more hard challenge. Um, most of them would be no. Edwin? Maybe. That would be more realistic. I don't know, it's weird because I'm not gay, so. And they're my friends, but, you know. Pro, I, okay, I'll say, I'll say yes to Edwin. In that scenario, if I were gay, but obviously I wouldn't actually. Nick DiOrio, that'd be a no. 
AVGN, you'd be into AVGN and Nostalgia Critic. Maybe AVGN, probably not Nostalgia Critic. I don't know though. I don't know. Wait, probably not. I don't fucking know. What are these questions, dude? Chris Hansen? No. Sky Williams? Probably not. Pro Jared? No. And I can say that confidently because I've seen his cock, unfortunately. Pro Jared's a fucking... I don't like Pro Jared. I've never liked Pro Jared. I don't know why people forgave him, dude. Just because he's not a pedo? Yeah, he's still guilty of everything else, though. He's still a creep. He still shows his fucking dick to fucking randos, dude. He's... And I mean, that's not bad. I mean, OnlyFans, whatever. If he wanted to open an OnlyFans and be, like, one of those people, sure, whatever. But, like... He's literally just like so horny. He had a wife and he was just so horny that he had to go behind her back and be like, yeah, I'm just showing my dick to all my fans, dude. And his wife wasn't even bad looking. Like what? It's just weird with the circumstance. The fact that he showed his dick isn't the problem. It's the, all the circumstances surrounding it. Cause like, I mean, porn stars can show off their fucking cock and it's fine, but. I haven't seen Leafy's dick and I'm not going to. Anonymous Gene, dude, he's hot, bro. His wife knew she was weird, too. Maybe. No, like... I feel like she didn't... She said she didn't like it, but, like... She was just like, oh, well, I can't stop it, and I don't want a divorce, so might as well. Like, she just found out, and she's like, oh, I don't like this, but, you know... It is what it is. These are some weird ass questions. Yeah, I'm not good at talking about this shit. This is not my forte. At all. You can probably tell. I'm not like uncomfortable, but I just don't know how to answer a lot of these things properly. Because it's just not something I talk about that much. A little bit out of my element. I just play Sonic all day, dude, and I read tweets all day. Come on, of course it's on my element. They're just weird ass questions in general, true. Dude, probably dropped like a hundred viewers off that, bro. I don't know, I don't look at the viewer count. I probably should though, but I don't know. Cause then it'd give me a good idea of like, if I'm being entertaining or if I'm just being like annoying. Dude, everyone's down to listen, man. Did the 200 people here? Oh, Boblax would fuck pick him. Oh my god, oh my god, that changes everything within the drama. Fucking crazy, dude. Moist critical. Thank you for holding me, but you were kind of rough. What the fuck? What are these chows saying, dude? That hour of the night? Wait, oh boy, it's the hour of the night. This guy on Snapchat keeps trying to send me his new- Oh my god! <laughs> Fuck, dude. The guy's thirsty, bro. Jeez. Really? Wario in mad space. Alright. No, thank you. There's no time for this. Tails in hidden base. This is just normal hidden base. Are you kidding me? Oh, it's fast tails though. Fuck it. I don't want to play normal ass shit, man. Dude. dude asked me for nudes when I posted to pick up my cat. <laughs> dude, that put. He probably tried to do something sly like, "Ha, <laughs> that's not the pussy I was looking for." That's what he probably said, dude. Guaranteed. Oh, here we go. Here's a juicy one. Here's a juicy level. Dude! Eggman out of his mech. Just run through the forest, man. This is gonna be goofy as shit. And the crazy gadget music. Hell yeah. This is awesome. He's like borderline T posing. Some of these. 
Dude, I can't even attack enemies, dude. I just gotta run for it. I can, like, do this little kick, but I have to be, like, so close to them, dude. Dude needs to eat a Happy Meal. Look at those legs. Oh my god, that's the only thing you pay attention to. Do you get, like, a nude from a guy and you're just like, damn, those fucking legs are weak, bro. Just trying to do everything but look at the cock. So th icky and desperate. He was- Also, he was in a Disney Plus movie. Wait, then he has- Dude. Then he has bag, dude. Dude. Just date him- Just get a bunch of shit out- Dude, he's thirsty as fuck. Get him to buy you a bunch of shit and dump- And then, like, leave him, dude. Or not even, like, get- Just- It wouldn't even be, like, officially dating him. You'd just be like, Well, we can try some stuff out. Bait him into getting you shit. Nah, just kidding. I'm- Joking, I'm joking. Unless you want to do- You can do that if you want, but I'm- I'm not encouraging it. I'm gonna stay neutral on that line of behavior, but... Yeah. <laughs> I'm a horrible person. Whatever, fuck it. I gotta swap this guy like a fucking fly, dude. Oh, I tried, but he's too cheap. Fuck, dude. You've already tried. No, okay, now I don't feel as bad because you've already tried. One time I posted a selfie and the guy was DM me saying nice ass, and I'm like, you didn't even see my ass. And he was, what? Oh my god, dude. Yeah, guys are desperate. But, I don't know. Can you really blame them? Because if, if they're not getting any, they're just gonna get horny and then they're just gonna, gonna start doing stupid shit. Because they're like, fuck it, might as well, might as well try, I mean. So you can't really blame them that hard. In some ways you can, in other ways you can't. I don't know, fuck it. I just wanna play Sonic, dude. Are you gonna beat Shadow as Eggman? Yeah, dude. Thanks for streaming, man. This ch vibe is chill. Hell yeah, thanks for sticking around. I'm horny, but I don't random message- randomly message people. Yeah, but the difference between you and like a guy who's horny, it's like a guy doesn't have options. He doesn't have people coming to him, right? So he has to seek out. Meanwhile, you have people coming to you, so if you're horny, you just go to like one of the fucking guys who's like simping and then let it out. I don't know. Imagine being horny? Yeah, I can't imagine, dude. The only thing I'm horny for is Sonic the Hedgehog, bro. a special device only used to power up a Do unsolicited tit pics exist? I'm sure they do. I mean, everything exists, but that's probably not a common thing. No, the thing is, if it's unsolicited tit pics, the guy wants it most of the time. So it's like, it is unsolicited, but it's like appreciated. That's like a positive thing, you know? Wait, can I like jump? What the fuck? <laughs> what the hell is these are these sounds, bro? Fuck! Whatever, I should play these normal, dude. I don't know who these Robot Sonic characters are. These are all like fan-made mods and shit, so I, I just don't know. Probably from like a comic or something. Obviously this Sonic isn't in the actual game.
god, I could such an asshole right now start an argument about religion. Um, I don't know. I don't really have much to say about it, so... Well, I probably do, but... Augie's a good little Christian boy, true. Dude, the spiked ball, that actually looks cool. Oh, it looks like that when I spin dash, too. Yeah, this is a mech level, obviously, with all the enemies you can tell. And the wide open spaces. Ooh. Oh yeah, this might be the Silver Sonic from Sonic 2. That's true. Looks a little different, but that could be very well true. Yeah, I knew about that guy, but I just... It didn't look like him to me. Like, the... The, the metal looked darker, but it probably is him. Sonic Heroes ruined Shadow for me? He should have stayed dead. <laughs> Holy shit. I wish he was still dead. Okay, this is the end, but I'm wondering, can I like a secret area open? Or what would be there on this? Wait, I can't even reach him. What's up, I bully bullies? The original writer for SA2 wanted Shadow to stay dead. Yeah, I mean, if they so want him still alive, this. they wouldn't kill him, right? I thought he was that weird main villain from Sonic 06. Oh, that skin is in this game, but it, that wasn't it. Okay, another... Mech stage as a speed character. Another robot, of course. Sonic loves its robots. Oh, we have a Knuckles song, which is a rap. Oh, this guy's in the GBA games? Oh, I've never played this. But Mephilus the Dark. Fuck. Oh, it's a copy of Metal Sonic. I don't think Metal Sonic could spin dash. I think they added that. Yeah, so I don't know the different how to make it spin dash versus how to do the shield because I think there just only was the shield and not spin dash in the original. These doors are kind of cool. It's like safes that are opening. Emerald. Oh, yeah, that name rings a bell, yeah. Sonic Battle, yeah. Mephilus the Dark, yeah, that's the guy from uh, Sonic 06. I like that character actually a lot. music slap nice some are a little cringe but it's pretty good yeah i agree i was thinking playing on playstation now it's playable here oh sa2 yeah this isn't the actual game though this is just a mod of it which randomizes stuff
Oh. Fuck. Wait, I'm all the way back here. Fucking hell, what's going on? Oh, yeah, Shadow the Hedgehog. I played that recently. It's not that fun. Dude, I'm so good at Sonic, bro. The fucking robot noise. So dumb. Uh, ever played Dying Light, anybody? Oh, I've heard of that game, but I haven't played it. I don't even know what it, I just heard the name. I don't even know what it's about. Oh, is it like a... No, that's Child of Light that I'm thinking of. Child of Light is like a game. Speed character, mech stage, treasure hunting song. Alright, this is the end of the stage. Faker. No hey, chance to win against me. Dying Light is a zombie survival game? Oh shit. Thoughts on Sonic X? I watched it as a kid and I really liked it. I haven't watched it since though. I'm sure it's still good though. You're running out of air. Did you find the air necklace yet? Here I come. Just watch me. Okay. Strange energy. There's no way I can leave without that emerald over there. This is great. I'm glad I'm getting tutorials on how to play in this cutscene. Pretty useful. So, oh. Okay, shut up. I don't care. Oh no, we're playing a. Oh, I was mentioning this before a stage treasure hunting stage. Or a space treasure hunting stage. Fuck, you suck, man. Oh, it will become a shield if I jump and do it. Okay, that's the difference. Alright, I'm bored. Wait, is it random in the Chow Garden too? Thanks for saving me. I was oh. scared. The security alarm went off and I... The fuck? What? What is a seizure egg? And why is the other one not having a seizure? Yes. 
Chad world. Okay, will it hatch? Yeah, it will. What the fuck? What? What the? F He's half of him's gone. Chestly? What are these stats? What the? F is the other one fucked up too? Yeah, he is, Drooby. What the fuck? These chows are insane. Why does her boobs have physics? I don't know. Fucking furries. Are there any other eggs around here? I think there's only one in these gardens. Really, I didn't shake it enough. You want me to throw you against the wall? That's the other way to open it. Yeah, the other way to open them is just doing that. Okay, what's up? Okay, fuck you. Okay, let's do some chow races and see what's up. This is gonna be insane. Beginner race. They're ready just out the gate. Dude, this guy's so creepy, bro. At least this one looks functional. Wait, he already evolved. Don't judge. What is this shit? This is trippy as fuck. I Dude, I feel like I'm high on more than just weed, bro. What's going on? The chow of five seconds? Dude. I got a shovel. Okay, time to do karate. Let's go. <coughs> Chesley. Yeah. You have a name off the bat, too. Crazy. Okay, it's Drewby's turn. Expert. Fuck it, dude. You can take it on. For anyone who's played this shit before. All of this shit's insane. If you've ever played the original game before. Okay. Wait, the enemy chow's randomized too, so... Oh shit, it will actually be a challenge. Wait, but the speed, dude, he just keeps kicking. Just knocked him over! She's like, fuck it, dude. Just a couple of kicks and he's done. I thought it'd be like one big punch and he's just like out, but... Next round, let's go. This is actually cute. Yeah, this is what I played as a kid. This was my childhood. Well, not this specifically, because all these chats are like crazy stats, crazy random names, crazy looks. But yeah, this was my childhood. Honestly, I would show you the normal game, but I don't know. I, I applied this mod, and now when I just open it on Steam, it always has the mods. So I just don't know how to change it back. <laughs> yeah. It's like watching your fucking little kid do kindergarten karate or something. You're like, yeah. Just watch your child. Fuck everybody up. Fuck up all the other kids.
It's so sad yet wholesome. Yeah. Dude, my fucking droobies kicking people's ass, though. Just like a little baby kicks. Dude, I beat the champion. Oh no, there's one more. Now this is the champion, dude. Oh, this guy is hype. This guy had way too much sugar, dude. The parents gave him way too much sugar before they brought him to karate class, dude. Kick his ass! Yeah, fuck him up. Dude, the proper epic music for this. Grand champion. Hell yeah. I got an emblem for it, so... Technically, I need to do it to complete the game, but... Dude, he's just flying. I feel like... The green one's more powerful. Yeah, the green one's running faster. Alright. Time to abuse them. Fuck you! Okay, I'm deleting the file, dude. I don't want that to happen. No, it saved! Did the trauma save, dude? The baby will remember that forever. The pants just beat him. So what's next for you, Rouge? Off again to find those jewels you love so much? Not bad. Dude, no chow me. See, this is the chow music that was supposed to play for the race. This is the chow race music. Go to the back to the adorable babies kicking ass. Come on, dude. This is way more badass, dude. I'm trying to be a man here. I'm trying to play manly Sonic games, dude. Not baby kid shit. Come on. My Chad. See, I just literally punched a plane, dude. How badass is that, dude? It's gonna give me so much tits pussy and ass. What in the... Yeah, that's kind of just my streams in a nutshell, dude. I'm a little bit of a wacko. I'm a little fucking loose, dude. Got the screws loose. I like how big his punches are, dude. I like wacko, so you're good, hell yeah. Yeah, at a certain point, I feel like everyone gets to this point in their life, usually it's when they're older than I am, because I'm only 23, but like, people just get to the point in their life where they don't, kind of, they kind of don't care what other people think, and they're just like, you know what, I'm just gonna be like, myself, and then whatever, like, if people think it's cringe, you can just not pay attention, I don't know. Like, I don't need to appease everyone. Um, and I feel like some, like, even, like, some middle-aged adults, like, care so much about what other people think, like, if you think about, like, I don't know, like, your how your, like, husband, like, the typical, like, dad or whatever that you think of, or, like, hus middle-aged husband or whatever that you think of, or, like, some sort of, like, business person. I don't know, dude. I go into a business meeting and be like, oh, yo, what up, my dudes? Wouldn't be professional, but hey, it'd be me, so. What's going on here? Who is that? Oh, fuck. This is a, uh, 
treasure hunting boss fight that I'm using a speed character for four, which has much, much less vertical movement and can't climb on these walls, so I'm a bit fucked here, I think. Or not, because I have the boxes. I worry too much because of anxiety. I used to. Then I got medication. I know, I know the answer should be, the answer you'd probably want to hear is like, oh, I got over it. Which I did in some senses, but like, at a certain point, like for me, I'm like clinically anxious. So it's like, or clinical anxiety or diagnosed anxiety or whatever you want to call it. Like it's a bit more severe to where it's like, it's completely irrational. Uh... So like, even though mentally I'm like, oh, I shouldn't be anxious, I'm not anxious, I'll just be anxious, so... Okay, fuck this shit, bro. Yeah! I know the struggle, true. For real, people doesn't care what uh, you think or what you're doing in general. Yeah, most people are just like, dude, I'm playing a Tails level as Tails. Come on, dude. This is supposed to be random, dude. Why am I playing boring ass vanilla levels? That's what the game actually is like. Come on. I want wacky shit. Here we go. Hidden base as Sonic. Now this, dude. This is better, man. Yeah, for a sec, I was trying to spin dash, and for a second, I was like, I can't spin dash, but. Okay. Whoa! What the fuck? Ouch. Gotta go fast, true. Wait, whoa, what's over here? Fuck! I'm Sanic. Sanic the fucking dead hog. I've never been down here because, like, I always just know which way to go. Oh shit! Select the stage. That's much better. My motto for intercourse. True. Fuck. Anxious typing in the chat. This is therapeutic. Oh, nice. Well, I'm glad uh, you enjoy. I'm anxious too, so it's all good, dude. We can both be anxious together. Fuck it. While you're in a furry suit of song that- what the fuck? No. Let's be all one big happy family. Okay. Kind of gay, but all right. Let's do it. Fuck it. <laughs> Unless you y'all object, I don't know. Dude, why did the music change? Oh. One big anxious family, true. We can all just be anxious of each other and just all like huddle in different corners of the room or some shit. I don't know. Look at each other and call that our socialization for the day. Yeah, I hung out with people. Well, dude, we'll just call it social distancing. Fuck it, dude. COVID. Just being extra safe. Even when the pandemic's over, just be like, yeah, I'm just being extra safe, dude. You never know. Yeah, I'm just in the bathroom in a completely different room. I'm still hanging out with my friends, but like I'm just in the bathroom because like, you know, I got social distance and you know, just gotta wash my hands very, very thoroughly, like continuously for hours while they're in the other room. But hey, 
Better safe than starry, right? Like, come on. Is turned into a ball, throw it. Tits Pussy Nash should be Bullmax's new catchphrase. Hell yeah. I didn't think on the podcast I said that it said it in a weird, cringy way. They're always like, oh, you said like, ha, Tits Pussy Nash, or like whatever. But I didn't think I said it in that way. I don't know. Dude! The Mario 64 re- Dude, I got the collection early, dude. I got the Mario collection early, man. Dude. I literally got the 64 collection early. Oh, yeah. It's become your Mercedes and a Benz quote, lol. It's not bad though, I don't think it was bad quote. I don't know, I'd have to rewatch the clip. Maybe the way I did say it was cringy, it could have been cringy. I mean, wh when I was lying in that um that Among Us game, where I was where I was like, wow, that's a double kill. Like in my head, I didn't think it sounded that fake, but then when I watched it back, it sounded fake, so maybe. Maybe the way I said it was fucking cringe, I don't know, probably. Dude, the Mario collection's looking fine, dude. Dude, the, the updated graphics on Mario 64 look great. I don't know what everyone's talking about, man. I want to say I saw Bubble X come out of event. Oh my god, that was really funny as well. When are we gonna get Among Us stream with the viewers? Um, I don't know. Maybe in the next couple days or so. We'll see. Speaking of cringe, Edwin talked a lot about fisting the other day. Damn. Yeah, that's kind of cringe, bro. I feel like I'm just playing the same levels over and over and then there's like other levels that I'm like missing out on. Cause I'm trying to like fill in the blanks so I have everything on stage select but... I just keep getting shit like Bio Lizard. I wonder if I play the boss rush if it will randomize with levels or only the bosses. Uh, I definitely remember alien monsters wanting to rape my butthole in Mario 64. True, yeah. Did I end up watching the video I linked? Uh, I'm not sure. Probably not. For some reason, it's much easier to do this as Mario than as, uh, Amy. Ouch. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Get on up. Fuck. Oh, I made it finally. Nice. I was watching TV and just happened to catch the news. I was shocked to see Sonic on TV. Damn, Sonic's on TV? Fuck. Mario's good luck, true. Ah, uh, here we go. This is one of the smaller um, treasure hunting levels, like one of the first ones, so it's not as bad. The space ones are impossible because they're so big, so you never get a reading on the, uh, the emerald. But here, you can get a pretty good reading. The levels are small. Uh, 
funny because there's like no enemies here, so like why am I even the speed character? Metal Sonic Uwu, what the fuck? You wanna fuck Metal Sonic? Or you think Metal Sonic's cute? What the fuck? What's going on? Or oh, there we go. I wonder why it has a red aura. Metal Sonic is best character? Hell yeah. I see you got the mod that allows you to find a piece in any order, yeah. Fucking great mod. Uh, what the fuck? I think there's like a mod loader and I can like change to turn off the randomizer or something. I should be able to get back to the original game pretty easily. For now. It's always so risky when... I'm gonna have to spin dash and jump really fast because it's a small platform. What happens when Twitter gets shut down? I go bankrupt. I file for bankruptcy. Nah, Tipster was asking me the same thing the other day and it's like, the users of Twitter won't go away, they'll just move to another platform. Like for example, when Vine went away, they just went to YouTube. So whatever the Twitter people go to for the next platform of choice, that's where I'm going. You know? White jungle. Okay, this is a new level. And we, we get to play speed stage as a treasure hunting character. This is fucking awesome, dude. I love doing this shit. Yeah, this is like one of the best combinations. Because there's so much. The speed levels are definitely the most interesting. And the uh, treasure hunting characters are the most versatile in their movement. You can literally go to weird parts of the stage, like standing on here and seeing this fucking things in there, dude. Twitter stands are toxic, Drew. Story fire? Yeah. I hope that would be the replacement of uh, Twitch 100, but I have no idea. Who's climbing up? Fly over all this BS. Or glide, because it's just gliding. That's why you need height. Wait, can I just... Lol? Wait. Oh, fuck that loop de loop, bro. Dude, look at the stage. Barely even loading in. I wish I could turn the camera. Wait, I didn't even know there was a platform up here. What the fuck is this? Chaos Zero running is hilarious and not right. What the? Why is there a bunch of big the cap? What? Oh, I can't even glo- I can't even grab onto the tree to see what's going on. There's like some fucking... There's some shit going down back there. I don't know. 
Sad we couldn't uh, look for longer. Yeah. All right. All right. Facebook versus my grandma. Oh my god, that'd be such a funny video. That'd be great April Fool's video. Fuck. I should remember that one. Well, if I end up doing it, you'll know why. A speed character on a mech stage, hell yeah, let's go. This stage is so slow normally with the mech characters too. You gotta like wait for the platforms to move and shit. I was like, nah, I'm just going straight for it now. Do -do 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 This is a pretty good song. What the fuck's up here? Seems like there's something up there. Oh yeah, there's like a balloon or something. Whatever. I don't need- Dude, I'm about to like sing along at this point. This is fucking jamming. It doesn't matter! <laughs> I'll spare you. What the fuck? Wait. There we go. A Boblax mixtape. Yeah, I'm not the worst at singing or making music, but. Augie Closet is kind of comfy, true. How old is Augie? 19. I don't need a reason. My own way. Okay, I, I need to stop. He's illegal, that's all I need. Oh my god. Y'all, you guys are wild. Please sing? You really want me to sing? Sonic covers. <laughs> of course, that's what I'd do. Yes, fucking Sonic covers. I need to find the three remaining Chaos Emeralds. This should be a piece of cake. Karaoke night. Hell yeah. Leafy? Yeah, dude. Leafy's pretty badass. I would give $50 a month for Boblax. That's a lot of money. What the fuck? You liked my singing that fucking much? Jesus. New channel idea making Sonic covers, holy shit. I'd unironically be good at it too. Cause like... I fucking listened to Sonic so much as a kid. Mechs are so slow, even at the top speed. It's funny how all the characters can hover except for the speed characters. You can just hover over everything. What time do you sleep? Uh, usually soon. I'm gonna end the stream soon, actually. I would outwrap Boblax easy, probably. The white- Yeah, dude, I was just playing White Jungle a couple levels ago, and now I have the White Jungle song on this. 
Glad there's another Sonic fan in here to recognize all this stuff with me. Oh, I think he gave me extra time. Normally it isn't that high. Oh, what the fuck? Right. Let's take our sweet time. So dumb. Just shoot. Don't leave. I mean, it's almost about to be a three hour stream and it's almost midnight, so. Sonic, I did it. I was actually gonna end when I went to, and then I decided like, hey, I mean, it's close to three hours. I'll try to like extend it by going to the shower garden and then I got back into it, dude, but yeah. Your streams are relaxing and comfy to fall asleep to. Thank you. Uh, I think that's a good thing. But at the same time, I don't want my streams to be boring. <laughs> Dude, time to just fly over the whole stage. Dude, what if I just press glide the whole time? Will I have enough height to just beat the whole stage? Dude, let's see if we can beat the stage without touching the ground. I can't move the camera, by the way, for context. So I'm just like gonna guess, kind of. Did the most of the stage move this way? Oh yeah, it did. Lol. Yeah, I don't know why the camera angle would become so bad. Like, why does it turn like this? Come on. You might be able to. Let's see. Okay, I'm gonna have to fall down more because... I might have to try and land somewhere because the fucking camera. Oh, what the Dude, this camera's nutting, nutty, not nutting. I'm tired. Uh, fuck. Oh yeah, I'd have to fall pretty far for this. Ah, oh, fuck. This level is just a downward spiral, then. I, li I like these levels, because, like, this is the secret rail in the game where I can skip a lot of the level, too. If you're actually playing as a proper character, and it's just cool that like most new Sonic levels don't have shit like that. Did you watch Defending Jacob? No, I don't know what that is. The camera is nodding. Yeah, I'm tired. Downward spiral metaphor for my life. Oh my god. Or metaphor for life. Yeah. Oh, wait, can we do it? Oh, fuck. Never mind. Yeah, here I feel like you just have to go through this like little rigmarole. Maybe you could like fly over it, I'm not sure. But here's when you need to start going up, so like... I'm kind of fucked at this point. Thank you for streaming. You low-key made my day better. Oh, uh, yeah, you're welcome. I'm glad uh, I was able to do that for you. And I'm glad you were here to watch because that makes my day. I'm glad that you guys are all here to watch me. It's awesome. Just get to chill, talk, and play some Sonic the Hedgehog. It's awesome. Oh my god, no, no, no. Oh, wait. Never mind. Level's over here. Wait, what? 
Wait, I'm not dead. The level's still going. What the fuck? I'm glad that you're glad that you're glad. Yeah, there's a lot of glads going on, man. The stream made me dust off SA2. Hell yeah. Drat some new moss. Fuck yeah. I love SA2. I'm glad that it's moddable. Whenever games become moddable, it's so great. Especially a childhood game you played a lot. That's why I was so hyped when Pikmin 2 became moddable. People start making hacks for that. Which, by the way, there's a really big hack in the works for Pikmin 2. And it looks great. Sometimes I retweet their stuff. They're having new two new types of Pikmin. It's going to be great, dude. I'm, I'm hype as fuck. I'm going to play that like the day it comes out on stream. It's called Pikmin New Fortune, if you guys want to look it up. They have a Twitter and... Yeah, I think they only have a Twitter right now, not a YouTube. But yeah, it's called Pikmin New Fortune. And I'm following it. So if you like go to it, you might see that I'm following it. And then you'll know it's the right one. But yeah, I'm going to be playing that hack when it comes out. And obviously I'm playing Pikmin 3 Deluxe when it comes out. There's also another Pikmin 2 hack I want to play, but it's like really difficult and it's kind of cancer. So I don't know if I want to do it on stream. But we'll see. Maybe in the future. I did just did a lot of Pikmin a couple months ago, so I don't want to like... And I'm gonna about to do a lot of Pikmin when Pikmin 3 Deluxe comes out and the new fortune hacks. I don't want to overload people with Pikmin. Going through the level kind of seems cheap. Yeah, but I mean, I think it's what you can't even go on the rails, so it's like that's pretty much what this level is as this character. And again, this isn't the actual game. This is just a mod to mix and match different characters. Normally, there's three different types of characters with three different types of levels. And obviously each character has their own level. Like there's a treasure hunting level, there's a mech level, <laughs> and there's a speed level. And right now I'm playing a speed level as a treasure hunting character. So level isn't designed for this. It's the mod. Wait, can I just, oh my God. So dumb. Wait, did I fuck it up? I think I did. Yeah, there's there's the speed things, dude. Let's climb back up. Wait. Can you go through? What's that? Dude. How high does this go? Okay, that's enough for the stream. Thank you guys for watching. It was fun. I appreciate all the viewers coming from Leafy Stream or my Twitter, or my Discord, or wherever. Hopefully, you guys enjoy. Follow if you like it. And uh, I'm gonna check. Oh, pause this. I'm gonna check if there's anyone we can raid. Any of the boys are on. They're on. Uh. Who's online? Let's see. Twitch. Dot TV. Well, we've raided Sky Williams. All. You know what? I'm going to raid Proton John. I used to watch him a lot as a kid. And as a teen. I know he doesn't know me, but... Hey, I'm going to raid him and see what's up. Trump knows everyone that's finished the game. Nobody else does. They're all fine. See you guys later.